because of that you deserve to know what is happening in your country but I but I and that take a secure that is gonna be an eye-opener not only to you like in the way to help us to and then after that Leo ikiwa ni Wednesday, I think huwa tuko na segment ya afya, mwelekeza takuwa na nambia what we'll be uh, focusing on today. And then after that, we are having a very wonderful conversation right here. If you remember, Nikwamba, there was that time, that was on Monday, when we were supposed to talk about business, but we ended up talking about health, uh, because mgeni ambaye tulikuwa nae, alipatikana hiyo siku, na mara nyingi huwa hayuko around, and we spoke about arthritis, and then tuka agree. Ya kwamba tutapata muda mwingine nae Aje hapa ndivo aweze kukufunza mengi zaidi kuhusiana na maswale ya mifupa So the next time she'll be coming here Itakuwa ni a Q&A session Swali kuhusiana mifupa na we unajibu Na, atakua, na ya najibu na takupeleka kwa njeli usafi kabisa So but today there is this conversation yenye ninajua You know kwa njia moja au nyingine Inaathiri na watu wengi And Sylvia will be taking us you know through Na kutueleza what is this that is going on na kila kitu kitakuwa ni shwari kabisa badai tutakuwa na um, ile tunaitanga today's inspiration and a wonderful wonderful songs na tunamina kwamba utaweza kubarikiwa hadita mati mm -hmm. jina langu ni Sylvia Wanja na tumai tutajifunza mambo mengi pamoja and we'll also be blessed through this amazing amazing show but for now because you are a Kenyan wacha tupata the daily updates ndo tujue nini mekwe ki happen in the country na pia outside the country there you go na kujuza tarifa mbili kutoka hapa nchini Kenya alafu kuna moja kima taifa na katika wakati wako kupite NBC Radio tarifa hizi kwa undani zaidi utaweza kuzipokea sa sita duhuri sa kumi alasiri sa moja jioni na sa tatu usiku kwa sababu Vin Kim and the team wako ange kabisa kukujuza mambo kwa undani sasa sikiliza hapa wa Kenya wataendelea kutozo ushuru wa nyumba baada ya mahakama kutoa amri kwa serikali kuendelea kutekeleza sheria hiyo hadi januari kumi mwaka ujao Haya ya Najiri baada ya mahakama kutangaza tozo hiyo kuwa kinyume cha sheria ikisema kwamba ina kiuka ibara ya kumi na mbili sehemu ya A ya katiba ya nchi. Amri za kusitisha kesi hiyo zinafuatia ombi la walalamikiwa katika kesi hiyo wakiongozwa na wakili George Morogara kwa muda wa siku 45 ili kuweza kutekeleza uamuzi wa mahakama. Jopo la majaji watatu lojumuisha majaji David Majanja, Lawrence Mogambi na Christine Mioli pia lilitangaza vifungu vya 84, 72 hadi 78 vya sheria ya fedha kuwa batili. Ushuru huu ambao ni nguzo kuu katika sheria ya fedha ulianza kukatwa kutoka kwa wa Kenya waliojiriwa mnamo Julai huko mamlaka ya ushuru ya Kenya KRA ikiidhinishwa kuwa wakala wa kukusanya wajiri wamekuwa kituma mchango wao wa 1.5 pamoja na kiwango sawa kwa wafanyakazi wao pia serikali ilikuwa imetaja kwamba makato hayo ambayo hayakutarajiwa yangewawezesha kufikia mpango wao madhubuti wa kujenga nyumba za bei nafuu kwa wa Kenya wa kipato cha chini Tukisonga mbele mpenzi mtazamaji ni kwamba Wizara ya mambo ya ndani imetangaza kwamba kituo cha kuratibu mipango na mawasiliano kuhusu kukabiliana na adhari za mvua kubwa inaonyesha nchini haswa mafuriko kimebuniwa. Kituo hicho kiko katika jengo la Nyayo jijini Nairobi na kimejukumiwa kusajili na kutoa ripoti zote kuhusu matukio ya mafuriko. Kundi la wawakilishi wa Wizara 11 na mashirika husika watahudumu katika kituo hicho kupitia mpango wa serikali yote na watatoa tahadhari kuhusu mafuriko kuratibu mipango ya kujitayarisha kwa mafuriko kuhakikisha usalama wa wakazi na kushughulikia dharura zozote wizara hizo ni pamoja na ile ya ulinzi ya mambo ya ndani ya barabara ya afya ya elimu ya maji ya ardhi ya nyumba ya kilimo ya kawi ya maswala ya Afrika Mashariki na maeneo kame na ile ya leba mashirika ya ulinzi ambayo ni pamoja na jeshi la KDF huduma ya taifa ya polisi huduma ya wanyamapori Huduma ya ulinzi wa fuo na shirika la huduma ya vijana kwa taifa NYS na ayo pia ya meshirikishwa. Katibu wa usalamu andani, Dr. Raymond Omolo Jana alianda kikao na wanahabari kuelezea kuhusu mipango ya kukabiliana na adhari za mafuriko. Alelezea kwamba baraza la magavana na shirika la msalaba mwekundu wamejulishwa na kuombwa kusaidia katika kufadhili mipango inayo tekelezwa. 
Kundi hilo limejukumiwa pia kukusanya mapato ya kufadhili mipango ya kukabiliana na adhari za mafuriko. Katika mawasiliano yake hapo jana, Omolo alifichua kwamba kaunti nne za Tana River, Garissa, Wajir na Mandera zimetambuliwa kama zilizoadhirika zaidi na mafuriko ambapo watu 120 wa miaka dunia. Kaunti kumi ambazo ni Isiolo, Samburu, Kwale, Homabay, Makweni, Tarakanithi, Lamu, Taita Taveta, Meru na Kisumu zime yorodheshwa kama zilizo katika tahadhari kubwa familia 1089 zimepoteza makazi na kwa sasa zimepatiwa hifadhi katika kambi 112 katika kaunti zilizoadhirika misaada ya chakula maji na vifaa vingine imewasilishwa katika kaunti kadhaa na mipango hiyo bado inaendelea na katika habari za kimataifa ni kwamba utawala wa kijeshi Naija umebatilisha sheria ya kudhibiti uhamiaji nchini humo ambayo iliharamisha kusafirishwa kwa wahamiaji kupitia nchi hiyo. Utawala huo ulitangaza kufuta sheria hiyo katika taarifa yake ukibainisha kuwa kiongozi wa kijeshi Jenerali Abdurrahman Chiani alitia saini amri ya kuibatilisha. Sheria hiyo ilipitishwa mwaka 2015 ikiungwa mkono na umoja wa Ulaya ili kudhibiti wimbi la wahamiaji miaji kutoka nchi za magharibi kwa Afrika wanaoelekea Ulaya ilipingwa sana na wakazi wa jangwa ambao uchumi wao ulitegemea wahamiaji kuna hofu kuwa kubatilishwa kwa sheria hiyo kutarejesha wimbi la wahamiaji wanaopitia Naija kuelekea Libya au Algeria kwa lengo la kufika Ulaya wachambuzi wanasema kwamba hatua hiyo inaashiria kuwa serikali ya kijeshi inadai mamlaka yake kinyume na shinikizo la kimataifa inasemekana kwamba Naija ilipokea takriban dola bilioni moja nukta tisa katika usaidizi unaohusiana na uhamiaji kati ya mwaka 2015 na 2022 bado haijabainika wazi jinsi EU itajibu kile ambacho sasa kinaonekana kuwa pigo kubwa kwa mkakati wake wa kudhibiti miminiko wa wahamiaji kutoka bara la Afrika baada ya taarifa ndo hizo na tunaamini kwamba katika muda wako taarifa hizi na zinginezo kwa undani za idi of course ni kupitia MBC Radio kitu ambacho bila shaka kinabadilisha maisha kwa sasa hivi tunaingia katika sehemu ile ya tega sikio ndo kule nako pia tukaweze kufahamu na kujua mambo yako namna gani Okay. Mm -hmm. So ndani ya hii tegasikio mm -hmm. it's a very very interesting one mm -hmm. but inafunzo kamili kamili mm -hmm. is about huyu baba yeah. na mwanae mm -hmm. so wakafunga safari yes. ya kwenda mbali mm -hmm. na sasa kule ambako walikuwa naishi mm -hmm. na kule ambako walikuwa na kwenda mm -hmm. hakuna jinsi ambavyo wangepata usafiri uwe ni gari au bunda ama farasi mm. iwe ni baisikeli ama pikipiki mm -hmm. usafiri pekee ambao wangeweza kuutumia mm -hmm. ni kwa miguu oh, yeah. okay. kuna baadhi ya maeneo mm -hmm. ambayo watu wanakoishi kuna miinuko sana kuna milima sana mm -hmm. yeah. na mabonde hatari hatari mm -hmm. kwa hiyo mpaka unapata sasa mm -hmm. hata katika haya maeneo mm -hmm. you know pikipiki na nini azini. inakuwa ni shida mm -hmm. alafu unapata kwamba katika haya maeneo hata hamna barabara mm -hmm ambazo labda zinaweza kusaidia katika watu kuweza kufika kule. Mm -hmm. Na unapata mpaka wakulima katika maeneo haya mm -hmm. wanapovuna mavuno yao mm -hmm. lazima wa improvise vile ambavyo watahakikisha kwamba hayo mavuno yamefika ya mahali ambapo sasa magari yanaweza yakafika. Mm -hmm. La sivyo itakuwa ni hasara kwao mm -hmm. mwaka kuja, mwaka nenda, mwaka rudi. Mm -hmm. Sasa yeah. huyu baba yeah. akamwambia mwanaye ajitayarishe. Mm -hmm. Na safari yenyewe kutembea kwa miguu mm -hmm. ilikuwa mnachukua siku nzima. The whole day. Do you know ukianza kutembea saa hii? Mm -hmm. Na labda kule ambako unafaa kufika unafaa kufika 6. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. It means yeah. kama unatembea sasa kama mtu ambaye sasa mm -hmm. you know ni, kuna mahali ambapo unakwenda. Si ile kutembea yeah. kwenda kujienjoy. Mm -hmm. Ni ile kutembea kabisa kwa sababu Seriously. kuna mahali ambapo unakwenda. Mm -hmm. Utakuwa umeenda enda mbali wewe. Utafika hapo. Hey, utakuwa umeenda. <laughs> utakuwa umeenda. <laughs> uh -huh. So akamwambia mwanae huyu mm -hmm. ya kwamba sasa jitayarishe Tunaenda. kwa sababu kesho asubuhi na mapema mm -hmm. tunatoka saa 11 alfajiri. Yes. 
Ndio tuhakikisha kwamba by the time saa 12 jioni nafika mm -hmm. tumefika pale ambapo tunafaa kwenda. Mm -hmm. Now. Mm -hmm. Hii ni safari ambayo inahusisha mpaka kupitia katika maeneo hatari mm -hmm. ikiwemo katika msitu mmoja ulioko katika hili eneo. Mm -hmm. Na hakuna vile ambavyo wangeepuka. Na wangesema kwamba wanataka kuepuka msitu mm -hmm. Kule ambako wangezunguka ingekuwa ni mbali. Zaidi. Na nikumanisha labda hiyo safari mm -hmm. ingeishia kuchukua siku hata mbili. So lazima wangepitia msitu. Kwa hivyo baba kamwambia lazima ujitayarishe mm -hmm. na lazima tutapitia katika ule msitu kama unavyoujua. Mm -hmm. Bas. Waliamka asubuhi na mapema saa tisa walikuwa shaamka. Mm -hmm. So wakajitayarisha vizuri nini kuoga nini yeah. na kuangalia watabeba nini kwa sababu wakiwa njiani sasa huko utapata wapi maduka. maduka. Hamna. Uh -huh. So lazima sasa wapark chakula ambacho utakwenda kwa maji nini mm -hmm. na vitu kama hivyo. Yeah. And then Wakatoka. safari kaanza. Mm -hmm. Na ni kweli kama vile ambavyo baba alikuwa amesema mm -hmm. walianza saa kumi na moja alfajiri wakatoka. Mm -hmm. Na baba yuko na saa Naenda kitani. Kwa hiyo anaenda kiangalia ndio ahakikisha kwamba mm -hmm. by the time unajua mm -hmm. wakishaingia ndani ya msitu. Yeah. Okay. Huko ndani ya msitu kuna vichaka vichaka kwa hiyo mm -hmm. sometimes hata unaweza kosa kujua jua liko wapi. Yeah. So by the time unakwenda una kutokea kule upate ye. nigiza. Yes. Mm -hmm. So wakaanza kutembea na baba kamwambia tunakwenda na speed kwa hiyo hakikisha kwamba yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wacha nikwambie. <laughs> Wakatembea. Yes. Sasa wanapotembea baba ndivyo anakwenda akipiga kilele akisema mm -hmm. ah sasa hili eneo mm -hmm. tutawahi pata lini mm -hmm. barabara ambazo zinapitika. Yeah. Sasa hili eneo mm -hmm. ata angalau barabara ambayo pikipiki zinaweza tutawahi fika wakati ambapo hili sasa mm -hmm. kama pikipiki mm -hmm. peke yake kufika huko ni shida mm -hmm. unafikiri mpaka wakaona umeme? Hawana hata umeme. Hawana. Hawa ni watu ambao wanaishi katika giza. Sasa mpaka wamezoea hayo maisha. So wanatembea 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 wana... mm -hmm. finally yeah. By the time inakuja kufika kitu saa mbili unusu. Mm -hmm. Ndivyo sasa wakaanza sasa kuingia kwa ule msitu. Mm -hmm. Na ni msitu mpana sana. Hivi kwamba sasa lazima utembee mpaka utoke upande ule mwingine. Mm -hmm. Kwa yule ambaye ashawahi pita hii barabara ya kutoka Nakuru e, Nakuru Njoro, Elbagon, mm -hmm. Molo Town, yeah. upande upita mahali kunaitwa Mushorwe, mm -hmm. uende nyota kidogo kidogo upande na hiyo barabara uende is it seguton mm -hmm. alafu sijui kama seguton inakuwa kwa hiyo laini mm -hmm. alafu uende keringet mm -hmm. and then kutoka keringet upande ufike olenguruon mm -hmm. then ukifika olenguruon mm -hmm. kuna mahali ambapo kuna mahali ambapo unaingia una, una unapiga kona mm -hmm. juu sasa unataka uende mm -hmm. ukatokee katika eneo ambalo linajulikana kama silibwet mm -hmm. alafu sasa ndivyo utokee bomet mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So kuna mahali ambapo utafika kunaitwa um, mahali ambapo kumepandwa sana majani chai. Hilo jina linapotea. Uh, Kiptagich. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So ukipita huko Kiptagich mm -hmm. katika hayo majani chai, yeah. sasa utatokea kuna mahali ambapo barabara imepita katikati ya msitu wa Mau. Mm -hmm. Barabara ya Lami. Yeah. Msitu wa Mau. Mm -hmm. Na ukiwa ukiwa na gari yeah. inakuanga ni safari wewe. Mm -hmm. e, yeah, Utakuwa na tutakika hapo katikati. Mm -hmm. Now you can imagine mm -hmm unatembea kwa miguu yeah. ndivyo utokee upande ule mwingine let me tell you na hakuna hiyo lami sasa unakuta kwa it's very far mm -hmm. kama si hiyo kuna barabara nyingine mm -hmm. na utembeage <laughs> we na wewe kuna barabara nyingine <laughs> natembea ni vile sijui majina you know. Uh -huh. Aujaienda huko. Nishaienda Bomet. Nini? Ukifika hakuna. Okay, I don't know. Wewe ulipita Kericho. <laughs> oh, so, kuna nje nyingine. Siku nyingine mkienda, uh -huh. ambia high five na ukazana yes. sana. Uh -huh. Waambie mpite hiyo ya Olenguron. <laughs> oh, nitawasumbua okay? mpite hiyo. Uh -huh. Yeah. So uh -huh. kuna nyingine ukifika, ukifika Njoro, yeah. kuna mahali unaingilia hapo. E, hapo Njoro town. Yeah. Kuna mahali unaingia, unaenda ukitokea tokea kwa una, unakuwa nyuma ya, ya, ya ile university iko hapo Njoro oh, inaitwa Yes, unakuwa nyuma yake. Oh. Okay? Uh -huh. And then unafika mahali ambapo watu wamepanda mahindi, ni, ni mashamba. Alafu tena utaenda, uh -huh. tena kuna mahali ambapo utaingia sasa kwa msitu. Ah. Okay? Uh -huh. Ufuate hiyo barabara mm -hmm. ndivyo ukatokea katika ile barabara sasa ya Molo mm -hmm. Olenguruon utakuwa umepita katikati ya msitu proper. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, so hiyo ni lami. Uh -huh. Now you can imagine kwenye mnapita katikati ya msitu Akuna na hamna lami. Ah, okay. sasa kuna barabara hii nyingine ya fika. Mhm. Mm ya flyover ukienda fika si hiyo ya msitu hiyo. Uh -huh. Now you can imagine Ikiwa sasa unapita place kama hiyo hamna lami ni kutembea. 
We. So around kitu 8 ndivyo waliingia ndani ya msitu. Uh -huh. Okay? Yeah. Sasa huu msitu mm -hmm. uko mahali ambapo kuna milima, kwingine kuna mabonde. Uh -huh. Na sasa huu msitu pia uh -huh. una miti mingi na vichaka vichaka such that ukiwa ndani hata mchana uh -huh. kuna kaa giza giza. Uh -huh. Ukiwa ndani saa sita, saa sita mchana meeting. ukiwa ndani ya huu msitu uh -huh. kuna kaa six jioni. What? Kwa sababu mpaka jua Aifiki nini? Mwangaza Aifiki. wajua haufiki kule chini kabisa. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So wanatembea. Kuna tu, kuna tu root tu tuko uko. Mm -hmm. So baba na mwambia hakikisha kwamba unanifuata hapa hapa. Eh. Wanaenda yeah. wanaenda. Wanaenda wanaenda. Mm -hmm. Wakafika mahali kwenye kulikuwa kunaonekana ni kama ah, hapa pako. Pako sawa. Hapo pako sawa. Mm -hmm. And then the father akamwambia the son mm -hmm. enda wacha dijisaidie mm -hmm. hapa. Yeah. Haja ndogo. Uh -huh. Okay? Yeah. So the son mm -hmm. akaendelea kutembe. Kutenda. Oh. We. Recipe for chaos. Let me tell you. Uh -huh. Sijui alikanyaga nini. Mhm. Mm na sijui kwani alikuwa ameangalia wapi. Uh -huh. Lakini pia unajua msitu una mambo mengi. Uh -huh. Una miti ya kila aina. Yes. You know? Uh -huh. Una sijui ndege ndege. Uh -huh. Una maona no, ndege wa kupa wale. Uh -huh. hey. una, una wadudu wadudu. Uh -huh. Kuna sauti sauti zinakuanga kwa msitu kwanza zile za cricket na nini. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. sijui mara kuna matunda matunda, sijui nini nini. Yes, Unaona? So unaenda pia and especially if you love nature. Mhm. Uh -huh. Mimi tu kiangalia ngati. Una nikiangalia ukizi wow. wow. So, alikanyaga mahali. Mhm. Uh -huh. ni kama unaenda <laughs> 100 kilometers per hour. We. Ku slide. Ah. Unajua sasa vile ambavyo mwanadamu ameumbwa. Uh -huh. When something like that happens, uh -huh. Adrenaline kicks in. Yeah. Na sasa ata hakupata time yaku piga mayowe. Because mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. uh, unajua kitu ineza panyigu uneka unaota. Eh. Mm -hmm. Mina kuambia, mvulana aliteleza, akaanza kuteremuka chini. We. Ok. Mm -hmm. Na sasa juu kuna vichaka vichaka, mm -hmm. hajua nateremuka kienda wapi. Ya yeah, nateremuka tu. So hajua kama unateremuka ufike mahali wanguka kwenye shimo. Ama utendo kwenye. Ama unateremuka uende wapi. Mm -hmm. Mina kuambia, aka slide. Eh. Ameenda, 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 then all of a sudden, akashika kitu. Ha, juu hata juu nini wameshika. Ameshika tu, bora tu ashike. Kushika, hmm. ndivu wakaangalia mbele. Alipuangalia hapo mbele, hmm. it was a ditch. We? Yenye, kama angejaribu a miss. Mm -hmm. Kushika hiyo. Ok? Eh. Mina kuambia, even the father, hangi wa ijiwa mtoto waki alikuenda wapi? What? Angejaribu kumuita. Hange itika. Hange itika. Uwe. Baba angejaribu kukimbia kifire kwamba mtoto wake yuko mbele. Mm -hmm, lakini kumbe yako. Hange wa impata. Uwe. That is hey. how. So wakati alishika kitu. Mm -hmm. Na akangalia pale mbele. Ndivu wakili kama ambia. Ebu angalia umeshika nini. Mm -hmm. Na ndivu wakili kama ineza kukusupport. Mm -hmm. Kabla upige mayowe. Mm -hmm. Baba kujia kusaidi. Na kusaidi. And this is unujua kwa kichaka. Mm -hmm. And especially kwa msitu. Yeah. Ukitoa sauti kuna echo. Oh. Wee. 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 Oka. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. yeah. We really used to love that. Kwa <laughs> nogo. Na shout out. This year. You know. Kwa nzuri sana. You know. Yeah. So. Ameshika, akini yeah. kamuambia, uh -huh. ebu angalu umeshika nini? Mm. Kabla, uite baba kusaidi. Okay, Kwa sababu, venya ameslide, anasikia kwenye metoka, ameskia, yeah, ameenda, ameenda, ameenda chini. Uh -huh. So, ameshika. Yeah. Ndi wakainua macho, wakaangalia. Mm -hmm. Akapata, ameshika mianzi, bambu. Mm -hmm. Sajua bambu? Ya, yeah, niyona. Si bambu ule wa muimbaji, ah, bambu. Ah, bambu ya mimi. Yes. <laughs> so, ameshika hiyo bambu. Uh -huh. Na kwa sababu hile speed alikuwa metirimuka na yo, mm -hmm. hiyo bambu mm -hmm. imejikunja, We. ok, mm -hmm. mbaka ikachora si. We. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu alishikia Mishika. hapa kwenye mikono ili, ili so ili, na haka slide. Mm -hmm. Bambu sasa ilibidi, mm -hmm. ikapinda, mbaka ikachora si. We. So kwenye ameshika, uh -huh. bambu inakaa hivi. Hey. Hey. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Na kiangalia place ingine unye anaeza shika. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Lazima then, Achille. inamanisha, uh -huh. achilie this bambu, uh -huh. ndivu wa shiki something else. Uh -huh. Na anajua if he dares do that, uh -huh. bila shaka. Shui, chini. Okay. So the only option. Alikuwa na 
ni kubaki hapo but akiangalia vile ambavyo hii bambu imejikunja cuz imepinda kabisa yeah, form okay so jua uta eh uh bow and arrow yeah yeah the bow. Naka, uh -huh. so you know that color uh, that, that, that shape ya bow yeah ndivyo sasa bambu inakaa so aliangalia hivi uh -huh. akasema mungu kama uishivyo milele mm -hmm. isaidie mhm mm jaribu maana if something happens i am dead i am god and then akiwa ameshika hivi ndivyo akaitana mm -hmm. baba baba Sojeza kuna. Mhm, mm echo inashinda kijirudia. So, ndivyo baba akisikia kuna mahali sauti inatoka. Nashindwa. Ah. Na yeye akauliza. Mhm. Uko wapi? Uko wapi? Mm. Niko hapa chini. Chini. <laughs> chini. Sasa ni chini wapi? Ch exactly, tuko katika ya forest. So akasimama akamuuliza. Uh -huh. Sasa uko chini wapi? Mhm. Mm ndivyo akamwambia, mm -hmm. "Kwenye nilikuacha ukijisaidia, mhm. Utasonga tu kidogo." Mm -hmm. Steps kama 15. Mm -hmm. Utaona mahali kwenye kuna majani majani hapo imegonga ngongwa. Mm -hmm. Hapo mm -hmm. kuna mtelemko hatari sana hapo niliteleza bila kuju. kujua. So anamwelezea anapaza sauti baba anapaza sauti nini? Mm -hmm. So ndivyo baba akarudi nyuma. Mm -hmm. Then akakuja. Mm -hmm. Ndivyo akaona hapo akaona ehe ni hapa. Yes. So baba mm -hmm. akachungulia. Mm -hmm. So hawezi akaona vizuri kwa sababu ya majani majani yale. Yeah. Lakini sasa kumbuka. Mm -hmm. It is not just any other person mm -hmm. ako pale ni the sun. Ni the sun. Mm -hmm. Wacha ni kuambie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aka hey. aka gather courage. Yes. Akakosa kuona yale matawi matawi. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Akili yake ilimwambia you must save your son mm -hmm. cuz ilifika mahali akasikia the son mm -hmm. ameanza ku kulia oh yeah so baba ni nani lazima i must save my son ali improvise njia mm -hmm. akaanza naye kuteremka akiwa amejishikilia haya majani mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so ameacha mizigo yake yote hata ameacha pale juu maana mm -hmm. kisa haiwezi teremka nayo yeah kwa sababu lazima akuwe mwepesi mm -hmm. kwa sauti ya chini tafadhali mm -hmm. lazima akuwe mwepesi mm -hmm. okay yeah. so ameshika yale majani mm -hmm. Hayo ndio anateremka nayo mm -hmm. pole 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 akiuliza unaniona hapana mm -hmm. anateremka anateremka akauliza kweni uko wapi teremka tu taniona huko chini na analia oh, yeah. so baba akajikaza pole pole sasa mpaka nguo zimejaa nini Uchafu, and finally mm -hmm. baba kile ambacho alikutana nacho mm -hmm. ni bambu ambayo imepinda oh, so akafuata hiyo shepi hiyo bambu then akapona the sun ameshikilia na ameshika na miguu already iko sasa pale kwa ile sasa hicho kiditch mhm mm okay mhm mm baba kamza ni shimo iko hapo mbele mhm mm the sun akasema hata sijui do something mm -hmm. and get me out of here cuz hapa hey ni kubaya sasa baba ndivyo akatamka pole pole unajua unajua mara nyingi tumezoea kuona movie mm -hmm. ukiwa ndani ya nyumba yeah. unaona sijui hatari imefanyika wapi mm -hmm. nini 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 alafu mm -hmm. unaona eh hey, no, jamani bro kitu ambacho unajui ni kwamba hatari ikiingia mm -hmm. unaweza kuwa starring na hata huwezi jua umekuwa starring aje mm -hmm. unaweza ruka kutoka kwa jumba kwa jumba kama hili <laughs> na ufike na usiumie <laughs> then later ndivyo unasikia eh hey, nani kama ni uh -huh. you know yeah. so baba akajishikilia 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 mm -hmm. then akamwambia achilia kwa mkono mmoja mm -hmm na unipatie okay so the sun mm -hmm. anaogopa anamwambia pana nikiachilia akamwambia achilia tu na unishike ukinishika mimi mm -hmm. najua vinyanta deal na wewe yeah akamwambia 1 2 3 achilia the sun akaachilia ha akamshika and then babu ika ha ha, ha. baba akamshika hivi na of course mm -hmm. baba akikushika hivi eh. That's it. That's it. Then akamwambia sasa achilia na mkono huyo mwingine. Mm -hmm. So the son akiangalia venye baba yake amekaa. Mhm. Na anamwambia achilia. Yeye mwingine. The son anamwambia na ugopa akamwambia achilia. I am your father. I know what I'm telling you. Achilia. So baba ikabidi mpaka lazima akuwe mkali. Eh uh, ndo waweze kusikiza. You know. Yeah. 2010. Mhm. It was around that time 2010 2011. Mhm. Kuna watu ambao walienda hike Menengai Creator. Yeah. He. Mm -hmm. And then wakaenda wakashuka kule chini. Mm 
by the time by that time i was working for another uh, radio station mm -hmm. wakaenda kule chini na mimi ndio nilikuwa shift ya jioni mm -hmm. ya news yeah. wakaenda kule chini on their way back mm -hmm. watu wakafuata different routes i don't know what happened mm -hmm. so kukakuwa kijana mwenye alifuata route yenye alikuwa peke yake then wakati amepanda akafika mm -hmm. mahali akakwama so na kwenye amekwama mm -hmm asha toka chini ako mahali yeah. juu but hawezi fika juu cuz kuna jiwe ambalo liko hapa We. do you know mm -hmm. alikuwa mahapo kuanzia kitu 3 na alipiga simu kwa station kitu 730 usiku what so he is calling mimi naangalia mm -hmm. alafu kitu kanambia just speak mm -hmm. so nika pick hello hi nikasema mtu analia We. yes huko ni nini ni ni huko eh wewe mnisaidia nimekuwa mmenengai kreta nini nini what you know and then after that i called the ocpd then i went to johnston ipara mm -hmm. and then sasa ndio wakaanza kufuatilia finally huyo mm -hmm. alikuwa anatolewa usiku alikuwa anatolewa kitu saa nane usiku what ilibidi magari ipite kule chini iende imulike hivi i think they went even i think they they, they, they look for uh, i think kulikuwa 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 mpaka na helicopter what? you know alafu kamba zirushwe ndivyo washike cuz kuna jiwe hapo lazima ashike ndivyo saa katolewa alikuwa anatolewa round 2 na akalazwa pgh i think for like what? two days or three you know so you can imagine such a, such a scenario so baba akamwambia achilia so ndivyo the son akaachilia na baba amemshika baba amemshika na yeye amejishikilia mahali you know then akamwambia kuja 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 then sasa akamshika Okay? Mm -hmm. Akamwambia sasa kile ambacho tutafanya hapa, mm -hmm. hapa lazima tusaidiane. Hii si time ya kulia. Mm -hmm. Okay, wewe ni mwanaume. Sawa, hapa ni kusaidia. Kusaidiana. Baba akamwambia sasa kuja juu yangu. Mm -hmm. So juu yake ni kumaanisha mm -hmm. hapa kwenye wako yeah. yeye ajaribu akue juu uh -huh. ndivyo baba aanze sasa ku, kujishikilia na kumsukuma ndivyo atoke. Mm -hmm. Wacha nikwambie. Mm -hmm. It took them around an hour. Ndoze kutoka. Kutoka kwa hicho kislope. Ndivyo arudi kwenye walikuwa. By the time uh -huh. wanarudi uh -huh. na kufika pale kwenye baba aliacha vitu, uh -huh. walipata sijui ni mbwa mwitu ama ni nini, hey. zilipita na zimehisi kuna harufu ya chakula na zimerarua rarua kila kitu. The bags and all that. What? Na zime tawanya kila kitu hapo. But not the fact that baba Okay. Ameweza ku save the sun. The sun. Yako more than okay. Chakula unaweza pata nyingine. Mm -hmm. Lakini sasa mtoto wa kifo itakuwaaje? Mm -hmm. So wakatoka walipofika pale juu. Yeah. Baba alimkumbatia mwanae kwa sababu mwanae he was shaking. shaking. Akamkumbatia akamwambia it is well son. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Then wakakaa chini kwanza. Mm -hmm. Because it no was process. crazy. Yeah. You know? What has just happened? Wana queue? Uh -huh. Yule mnyama ambaye alikuja hapo alitafuna tafuna mpaka hizo chupa kwa hivyo maji yamemwagika. Hakuna kitu. Okay? Yeah. So wakati wametulia ndivyo sasa hata tumbo linasema yo. Yeah, we, tuko hapa. Chakula yote ambao tulimulikula kule yenyewe <laughs> yeah. imeishia pale. So uh -huh. baba kwambia tutatembea tu mm. maybe. Mm. Maybe kwa bahati nzuri yeah. tutapata matunda njiani. Kwa sababu mm -hmm. ile distance walikuwa wametoka tangu waliingia kwenye kichaka. Na yenye imebaki ndivyo watoke mm. wako ni kama wako katikati. Yeah. So kurudi itawa take the same time yenye wata kutoka there baba kamwambia mm. lazima tuendelee kutembea mm -hmm. and the son is like i don't have strength akamwambia ah nitakushika mkono Tendo na mimi nitakuongoza vizuri kwa mm -hmm. sababu tukikaa sana hapa mhm giza likiingia hapa mm -hmm. ujue tuta half kulala wapi hapa na sio umeona venye bags zimefanywa yeah. kwa hivyo huko ni kumaanisha kuna mpaka wanya? wanyama wanyama mhm mm my son hebu simama twende so akamshika mkono uwe wakaanza kutembea mm -hmm. wakaanza kutembea baba tu anamwangalia wakaanza kutembea. Akiona kitu kidogo anasema eh anamwambia ah pita Relax. hapa eh. pita hapa fuata hii line. Mm -hmm. Wakaenda wakaenda nao. <coughs> Wakati nilifika mahali akaona nikana nikana kwamba the sun ame relax. Mm -hmm. Baba akamwambia mm -hmm. sun. So sasa hiyo anaenda kutokea pale ile nyingine. Mm -hmm. Kaambia sun. Mm -hmm. Do you know wakati ambapo nilikuja kukutoa pale? Mm -hmm. Nilipata the bamboo telling you a story. Mm -hmm. Did you listen to that story? Adi <laughs> And the son was like a story mm -hmm. I can yes Which story I was Nilipofika hapo uh -huh. I found the bamboo telling you a story talking to you and it was telling you something Ah oh. did you get it The son of And the son was like I was fighting for my life No I was fighting for my life yeah. yes but also mm -hmm. a bamboo talking 
talking to me. Dad, that's weird. Yeah. I can't be a no. It spoke to you. What? And it told you something very, very, very important. Mm? And the son he was like, okay, then I didn't mm -hmm. see Kuskia. I, I was care. terrified. Yeah. So me see Kuskia can be a hmm. All right. Okay. Sawa. Baba Kanyamaza. What? So I can be and then the son was like, Kwani. You had the bamboo talking to talking me. Talking to me? Elisema. Are you for real, Dad? I can be yes. I can be then tell me what, what it it say. Yeah. Baba Gambia. Ah, sasa kama uko unasikiliza whatever it was telling you. What? Utajua siku nyingine. Akamwambia siku nyingine I'll have to be in such a position and I don't want to. Yeah. So please dad, tell, tell me. me what it said to me. Hmm. I need to hear from you because I have never ever come across mm -hmm. meeting in Ongea. <laughs> Ongea. That is the first. The first. <laughs> in fact, I can even write a book uh -huh. on the same. Yeah. What did he say? Mm -hmm. Baba Gambia. Mm -hmm. My son. Mm -hmm. First of all, yeah. wakati ambapo uliteleza na ukafika pale na ukashika that bamboo, mm -hmm. did you see what happened? Akasema, what happened? Mm -hmm. Akasema, hiyo bamboo ilipinda. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Nambaka ikapata umbo lingine, ungefikiria ni si, yeah. yenye imeinamishwa. Mm -hmm. Na ikakushikilia. Mm -hmm. Akamuliza, do you know why the bamboo mm -hmm. was able to do that? Mm -hmm. And the son was like, <clears throat> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Because of its flexibility. Oh. It is flexible enough. Mm -hmm. Because of your weight, yeah. mm -hmm. the bamboo had no option but to, but to carve. Mhm. Mm na ukashika upande ule wa mwi? Mwisho. Ndivyo usifanye nini? Usianguke. Usianguke. Mhm. Akasema, yeah, that makes sense, but mm -hmm. that's not talking. Yes, you know. that is. No. Akaambia now the conversation started right there. Mhm. Mm and the bamboo spoke to you. Mhm. Mm Hiyo period yote nilikuwa umeishika. And this is what the bamboo told you. Okay, what did the bamboo say? And now, say? this is what the bamboo is telling us today. Mm-hmm. Now, it was hey, superstition, hey, bamboo, <laughs> This is Taka Sikio. Okay. Akamambia, wakati mbapo that bamboo ilipin the kiasi hicho, mm -hmm. there's something that you ought to have noticed. Mm -hmm. And that, that was now the bamboo communicating to you. Mm-hmm. Ya kwamba, kupinda ndiyo ilipinda. Yes. But at no given time mm -hmm. did it break. Mm -hmm. But kupinda ilipinda kisabwa sawa. Yes. Na mbako ulipuku unayangalia hivi, mm -hmm. uliku unasema mungu nisaidie. Yes, yes. Because in yes, case yes. iki break, yes. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu bambu iki break ni kupa. And? Mm -hmm. Okay. So wakamambia ilipinda kabisa mm -hmm. because of its flexibility, mm -hmm. but it never broke. Mm -hmm. Akamza, do you know kwa nini haiku break? Akasema, of course you have told me it's because of its flexibility. Akambia, do you know something else that the bamboo told you? Akasema, dad, I don't know. Akambia, now, the bamboo told you mm -hmm. the fact that ili bend mm -hmm. na haiku break yeah. na haiku toka kwenye hiko mm -hmm. pia ili kuambia mm -hmm. iku family rooted. Yeah. Pale ambapo ili kwa imepandwa imepandwa mm, yeah. ama pale ambapo imemea yeah. kwenye udongo mm -hmm. family rooted kwa maanisha kwamba mizizi yeah. ya this bambu mm -hmm. imeshika udongo kiasi ya kwamba mm -hmm. hata ikipinda kiasi gani because of whatever weight mm -hmm. the last thing it can ever do mm -hmm. ni kukua uprooted yeah. so ilibaki family hapo mm -hmm. kwa udongo yeah. hata wakati ambapo imepinda na wewe umeshika upande ule mwingi mwingine Kambia, so, this is what the bamboo told you. Mm -hmm. And I want you to listen to me mm -hmm. very carefully. Bamboo ilikuambia, mm -hmm. ya kwamba ile time yote imekuwa hapo, mm -hmm. kumekuwa kukikuja mambo, mm -hmm. ambayo ya na stress. Mm -hmm. Mara upepo. Mm -hmm. Mara siju kuna wanyama wanaruka ruka nini. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Lakini kwa hayo mambo yote, mm -hmm. what the bamboo does, yeah. 
huwa inakaa ni kama imepinda mm -hmm. but huwa ina make kitu moja mm -hmm. ya kwamba there is no breaking mm -hmm. and another thing yeah. hakuna kutoka hapa ambapo nipo mm -hmm. but ukiangalia kwa macho yeah. unaona imepinda mpaka unaanza kusema oh oh yeah. that one is just about to break, break. Mm -hmm. but because of its flexibility mm -hmm. after that stress ikisha mm -hmm. bambu huwa inarudi tu its original up. position shape mm -hmm. na inasimama yeah. ya kwamba mtu mwingine akipita hapo aambiwe kwamba hii ilikuwa imepinda mpaka inachora si hata mimi uongo kwa sababu atapata imesimama ikia straight straight mm -hmm. and family rooted, rooted. pale ambapo ilikuwa akamwambia now mm -hmm. the bamboo taught you a lesson mm -hmm. ya kwamba san in this life mm -hmm. Kuna vitu zita kuja your way. Mm -hmm. Kuna wakati tu. Ndiyo mm -hmm. umeomba. Yes. It is not that God has not heard your prayers. Mm -hmm. He has. But somehow, mm -hmm. unakutana na mawimbi. Mm -hmm. Pa! Unakutana And the stresses it. of life. Pa! Mm -hmm. Wakati ambapo umekutana na mambo kama hayo. Mm -hmm. Wakati ambapo umekutana na matatizo ya aina hiyo. Mm -hmm. Unaweza wakati mwingine apia ni kama umepinda. Mm -hmm. Na watu wakikuangalia wanasema mm -hmm. Sylvia is finished. Mm -hmm. She is done for. Na mbaka wengine wale ambao wanakuombea sasa mm -hmm. wanakuombea maombi ya Mungu akupokee. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu sasa wakikuangalia wanaona hapa hakuna hakuna njenge. Your life here mm -hmm. is done. It's finished. Because wakiangalia ile kitu umekutana nayo mm -hmm. na wakikuangalia kwa macho ya nje mm -hmm. wanaona kabisa Uwe wewe umefika breaking sure. point. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. kamambia, like that bamboo, the last thing mm -hmm. unafaa kufanya yeah. ni kubreak. So, kupinda, mm -hmm. unezo kapinda. Yes. But make sure you don't break. You don't break. Wow. Something else, mm -hmm. make sure mm -hmm. you are firmly rooted, rooted mm -hmm. in the word of God. Of God. Mm -hmm. Because when you are firmly rooted, mm -hmm. In the world of God, mm -hmm. you can never, ever, ever Break. be uprooted from there mm -hmm. at a stress again. Mm -hmm. Ikupate. Ikupate. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens? Yeah. Iyo season ya hayo mawimbi ikipita, what will happen? Mm -hmm. Kama yu bambu, Amen. utasimama tena. Yes. You will regain your position mm -hmm. and will be much stronger. Mm -hmm. then and then more. people will be looking at you and they'll be asking themselves, I is this the person mwenye alikuwa mm -hmm. I see you? Mhm. Mm Amewekwa mipira kila mahali. Mhm. Mm mwenye mpaka daktari alikujaga akamwangalia akatuambia hapa to release. Mhm. Mm Do it's time. Okay? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be a sickness. Yeah. Ile zako tu ni stress ya life. Mhm. Mm Watu wanakuangalia hivyo wanasema eh eh mimi maisha yamempeleka. But when you stress yote ikisha because time in Africa inaisha. Yeah. When you regain your position mm -hmm. because your family rooted mm -hmm. kwa the word. Yeah. Na you make sure kwamba no breaking because your roots mm -hmm. zimekusaidia kwa kuwa strong. Mm -hmm. People will be looking at you na kusema. Mm -hmm. Where? Mm -hmm. Is this the very same person? person? Mm -hmm. That we saw some few months ago. Mm -hmm. Mbaka tukona kana kwamba anelekea kuwa muenda wazimu. Wazim. Mm -hmm. And kuna watu wengi, mm -hmm. watakuja kwako, kuji introduce tena. Kuji reintroduce. Eh? Kuzi waki kuangalia. Wanaona. Na the person they saw, okay. wanaona two different, different people. So like that bamboo, mm -hmm. stress itakuja. Mm -hmm. Kuna wakati utakani kama umepinda. Mm -hmm. But make sure you don't break. You don't break. Mm -hmm. And make sure you are firmly rooted, rooted in the word of God. In the word of God. Mm -hmm. Because after your stress ikipita, mm -hmm. you will regain Rise again. your position. Mm -hmm. And your enemies mm -hmm. and your friends, mm -hmm. all of them, mm -hmm. watasema kitu kimoja. Mm -hmm. Enyewe huyo, mm -hmm. mungu wake, mm -hmm. amempigania. Wow. And that is the tega sikio for today wow amazing guys so swali ni uh -huh. our viewer anapitia nini mm -hmm. unapitia nini yeah. napitia nini mm -hmm. let us always make sure whatever mm -hmm. it is that we are going through mm -hmm. tusifike mahali ya kusema yeah. nime break mm -hmm.
Mhm. Watu tutaangalia naona kama kwamba tumeinama na tumepinda kabisa. Mm -hmm. Lakini a time is coming mm -hmm. we are going to regain our, our position. Position. Wow. Even a country like this one. Mm -hmm. Kuna wakati ambapo Kenya hui inafika mahali kabisa mm -hmm. na ukiangalia yeah, unaona ndio no hiyo. Ndio inaenda. Na mpaka unasikia watu wamesema mm -hmm. sisi kuisha. Yeah, but Mungu ni nani? Mm -hmm. Huwa analeta majira mengine mm -hmm. and then unaona Kenya right. ndio ime regain mm -hmm. its her original position. Position. Wow. Na unapata katika bara la Afrika mm -hmm. Kenya is being considered mm -hmm. as a very 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 important nation. Wow, guys. I That's it for you for today. Thank you so much. I just take it from the idea for Kasababu. I think you have said it all, and it is very important for us to understand. Chenye to me share to me pata saizi kote gasikio. But send us your feedback zero seven two one one zero five one zero five. That is WhatsApp. Na normal text message two three eight one four SMS code, which is absolutely free. Na pia MBC ITV Facebook. To call live, tell us what have you learned from this particular Tega Secure? Is there a situation in life in Yilifanya? Uka pinda, uka feel like this is the end of it. Usivunjike. Usivunjike. Sawa sawa, there's uh, greater things ahead of you. Kwevo? Usivunjike. Yes, <coughs> hold on. As long as your family is rooted in the word of God, you will regain your position. Okay? Yes. Kuna ule wimbo wake, aintuwa ji ule? Oh, the last person I can even ask that question. Ule, ule muimbaji wa Tanzania. You do, yo. Uh, upendo nkone uh -huh. Usifurai juu yangu E hey, adui yangu Ni yangu kapo mimi Nitasima matena Yes Utasima matena Make sure you don't break matena Because matena. if you don't mm -hmm. Utasima ma mm -hmm. Tena mm -hmm. You will. It is a guarantee. As long as your family rooted in the word of God, you will rise uh, again. Good. Tunarudi. Don't go too far. Absolutely. Leo mtazamaji wangu katika makala ya Afya Tips tutakuwa tukiangazia faida za kiafya za kula bamia ama okra. Bamia ni katika matunda ambayo ni mboga na karibia maeneo mengi mboga hii inapatikana. Bamia ni katika mboga muhimu sana kwani ina faida nyingi sana. Ndani ya bamia kuna vitamin, madini na kamba kamba yani fiber na bamia pia hutumiwa kuanzia majani, mbegu bamia lenyewe maua kikonyo na matawi kwa ufupi bamia wote ni mboga na huliwa ndani ya bamia kuna fiber folate vitamin K na madini na pia bamia husaidia katika kuboresha na kuimarisha afya ya moyo pia hulinda mwili thidi ya saratani Jitahidi ukinunua bamia lisikae zaidi ya siku tatu ama nne. Madini ya potassium na sodium hupatikana katika bamia bila ya kusahau vitamin A ambayo hupatikana pia kwenye bamia. Ndani ya bamia kuna aina ya protini inayoitwa lectin ambayo pia huweza kupatikana kwenye maharage na nafaka nyingine. Wataalamu wa afya walitumia lectin inayozalishwa na bamia kwa ajili ya kutibu seli za saratani ya matiti yani breast cancer na matokeo ya utafiti huu ulionyesha kuwa seli za saratani zilipungua kwa asilimia sitini na tatu na zilikufa kwa asilimia sabini na tatu na pia tafiti nyingi zinahitajika kufanywa kuhusu swala hili tafiti pia zinaonyesha kuwa folate ambayo hupatikana kwenye bamia husaidia katika kuzuia matatizo wakati wa ujauzito Pia tafiti zinaonyesha kuwa vyakula vinye vitamin K kwa wingi kama bamia ni mjarabu sana katika kuimarisha afya ya mifupa. Bamia pia husaidia katika kuzuia kupata tatizo la kukosa choo kwani kamba kamba ndani ya bamia hizi husaidia katika mengenyo wa chakula na kusafiri kwa chakula kutoka tumboni kuelekea maeneo mengine. Pia itambulike kuwa zipo athari hasi za kula bamia kwa kupitiliza. Kwa mfano, bamia hupunguza hamu ya kula, pia bamia huweza kupelekea kujaa kwa gesi. Ni hayo tu kwa sasa tupatane Jumatano ijayo katika makala haya ya Afya Tips. Jina langu ni Perpetual Nyambura. It is fun.
first a new story, then they are broad. No, you will not. Yes, let, let, let they're not be not in a position maybe let to buy some of the basic no. commodities in the supermarket. No, but they will. Gone up. Weighty and critical underlying issues. We dig deeper, clarify and unpack. The mid-morning pack. It doesn't matter what we talk about. At the end of the day, we are still going to depend on the smaller economies of East Africa to supply us with food. It is incisive, articulate, compelling, and transparent. Every Wednesday from 10:30 a.m. to 12 p.m. with Mangicho Mola and Paul Kagi. For startups and magnates, the best way of marketing is by word of mouth. So the best way to encourage word of mouth is proper execution. Taking risks, that one is inevitable. That is the first initial thing that you need to have. Join us as we explore the exciting world of entrepreneurship, innovation and business strategy. You must do it with many people. You can't do it yourself. So you need to assemble a team that will deliver your vision and take the company to the next level. Business Plus is your go-to source for expert advice, insider tips, and inspiring success stories. The only way you can actually be able to solve problems faster is if you encounter many problems, so it becomes easier. With me, Rachel Kahugu, every Monday at 7.30 p.m. Remember, business is more than meets the eye. In a world filled with secrets, betrayals and unexpected twists. Two sisters about to collide in ways they never imagined. Lighting a fire that will shake their lives to the core. And now, there's the old cycle of pain and betrayal. Yet, a new challenge is at hand. Join Hadassah on a journey of redeeming her destiny every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Yo, yo, my people! Season 3! <laughs> Coming to you on MBC ITV, this time more interesting and more fun. <laughs> With new segments like Precious Moments, Music of Your Own Choice, Napia Maswali Moto Moto. Join me, Precious, every Wednesday from 8.30 p.m. Kicheko Nidawa. Are you ready to unlock the secrets behind successful career choices? Join us for an eye-opening journey as we delve deep into the minds of professionals from various career fields. So what is your take on employment? I think that employment has been misdefined. Don't miss the insights and the knowledge that will equip you for your success. Meet the HR every Friday from 8.30 p.m. with Sylvia Wanja. And remember, there is no luck in career, but it's an opportunity meets preparation. Hi there, my name is Perpetual Nyambura and I love cooking. We all love art and we all love good food. Yes, yes. 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 Marriage is not a mark of completeness, nor is singlehood a mark of incompleteness. 
most people look forward to married life, but when is the right time to start a relationship? The two shall become one, isn't it? A man should not do this, a woman should not do this, I would say, unless it is a function. These others can be negotiated. Marriages are meant for us to enjoy and not endure one another. For better, for worse. That is what we call an affirmative covenant. You know, are we showing fidelity? Don't miss the marriage classroom to learn more about relationships and marriage. Relations in a relationship that is not yet in, you know, joined together, they are, you are not in marriage, is a no-no. It will never be right now, it will never be right tomorrow. It will never be okay, even in the future. Every Sunday, only on MBCI TV. Experience a journey of spiritual elevation and immerse yourself in the most uplifting worship moments. Watch the best of worship culmination every Saturday from 3 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. It's an awe-aspiring event featuring anointed worshippers and going beyond the studio to connect with young souls eager to embrace the divine presence in educational institutions. Get ready to elevate your spirit and embrace the true essence of worship with Maria Omondi and her incredible team of worshippers. The Virtuous Woman Show brings to you authentic stories from all women of all walks of life. If you start going to the bar to watch football, yes. and you started just as going to watch football. No, uh -huh. I was intentional. Why do you want to kill these babies? And I'm looking at him and I'm asking, what babies? Through the experiences, we are able to enlighten and encourage each other. He strangled me, mm -hmm. pushed me to the ground, mm -hmm. and the first thing he asked, asked for was my impesa pain. He proposed, and that's when I said, mm -mm. People will come to understanding and knowledge that this one, she's not just a religious woman, yeah. she's a called woman. Catch the Virtuous Woman Show every Sunday from 6 p.m. with Sheila Juma. Luka, mlangu wa kwanza, mstari wa 37, kwa maana kwa mungu hakuna, lisilo wezekana. Jiandae kusikia miujiza, itoka na ayo na nguvu za mungu. Mambo ya siwelezeka kisa yansi. Anamfunika na mimi ni namuabia no. She is not going to the mochari. Ya kionyesha nguvu isiyo ya kawaida. I witness wali nchukua wali nambia ata sikio wali yacha hapo chini. Watu binafsi wakishinda vizengeti kupitia imani. Ungana nami Wilson Kamiti ndani uhalisia kila jumapili sambili unusu usiku. <laughs> Doctrines continue to differ. So let everybody examine their doctrine. Debates are on the rise. Sodom, this was the same thing that is happening today. And the information is plenty. People go to the wrong sources expecting to get the right answers. Amidst all these, what is the truth? This judgment is not based on sin. The Bible is clear and there is an answer for every query. Ask the Ministers of God show every Saturday 8.30 p.m. Kilimo ni utu wa mgongo katika uchumi wa kitaifa. Akili shambani inakufunza mbinu mbali mbali za kilimo cha mimea na ufugaji. Tunavuka milima na mabonde kukuelimisha mengi kuhusu ubunifu na teknolojia katika kilimo. Yote tisa kumi ni masoko na yoje. Tunausika na mkilima kutoka kwa shamba hadi sokoni. Fahamu haya na mengine mengi kuhusu kilimo kwenye akili shambani kila jumatano samoja unusu usiku ukiletewa nami ena eli mlinga. <laughs> Hudi, hicho kipindi kile itwaje cha Naeli? Akili shambani. Akili shambani. Mm -hmm. Nimeona mtu ambaye ana sijui ni nini hizo. Vermiculture. Nilikuwa kwa hiyo episode. What is that? Nilikuwa ni 
to do do to worms zina provide uh, hmm. folic e folia ni folia mm -hmm. alternative ya folic acid okay. kwa nini yake yeah. na pia ina produce uh, ini toje fertilizer oh eh hey, that is very very healthy like uki okay, ukiangalia <sighs> yeah. okay ina ka disgusting like you can profit in a make mm -hmm. vermiculture hi una seem to you know there's a there's a place we went to tembea mm -hmm. and i'll never forget <laughs> so tumeenda kutembelea huo msee akona shamba kubwa yeah. akona shamba kubwa so anatutembeza uh, mimi na rafiki yangu mwingine mm -hmm. anatutembeza kuonesha shamba lake lilivyo mm -hmm. then tukaingia mahali kwenye kuna miti miti mm -hmm. kuna kani kaa kuna to maua maua yeah. uh, it was so beautiful nini mm -hmm. pale pazuri then tukaingia yeah. sasa tukiwa ndani mm -hmm. ndivyo anasema so this area mm -hmm. ndio huwa ninatumia uh, kufanya breeding ya vinyonga let me <laughs> Tell you. <laughs> that is how Let you got out. Tell you. Ara siyo kama alimaliza new statement ingine. Mimi niliposikia vinyonga. Akienda kusema and so mimi nilikuwa nishatoka na nimeenda. Na mpaka sasa nasikia ni kama zikukua. Ziko juu yako kama umetoka na mama. Mimi nikaenda kabisa. You know. Na nikasema sitaki kuona that part. Wachana na mimi. Niko sawa, niko sawa. Cuz kama kuna kitu mimi vinyonga. Niyo kitu. Now. We, okay. You know, it's funny because eh mimi hata nikipatana na huyo mnyama mwingine eh mwenye hana miguu huwa sishtuki zaidi kama kinyonga. Oh snail. Yeah, no, snake. Uh -huh. Mimi nikikutana oh. na snake. Uh -huh. I don't like I don't like you know. You don't stuka. I, I don't like stuka. Okay, I will. Yeah, but okay. I, after that I'll mm -hmm. just nini na hii tanizuia ni kufanya kinyo nataka kufanya hapo. But these are the thing yeah. Yeah. Hivi. Nikutana nao ikifanya. Nasikia watu mimi yote. Ni kama imekupata kama imeumenda. Watu wako na fear different. Kuna mwingine atashika kinyonga hivi. Bas afekelea di kwa skin. Unaona mpaka kwa napenda sana vipindi vya wanyama. Eh but ikifika hiyo part ya kinyonga. Ya wakusema ah now this is the communion. Na for dingi na for what na for unasimamisha tena unakuna in this head na for what and the change of color cuz let me tell you kwanza kuna nyingine ina kitu hapa sijui ni nini hiyo eh ka ka eh and then mbona itembei kama zile zingine like it has to do like this oh so that's the beauty of it inafanya kwa unique Wacha ikakulia unique huko lakini <laughs> yani sipendi sipendi kabisa I remember there was a time uh -huh. jamaa anaitwa Philip Mwangi yeah. aliwahi nikimbisha nikiwa shule <laughs> na si hata si kinyonga kumbe alienda akachukua kakitu akaweka kwa Aka, stick uh -huh. then he knew na yogopa akamja yeah. akasema ha <laughs> wacha nikwambie nikasimama na yeye pia ako na mbio <laughs> nikasimama na nilikuwa nimevaa reeboks <laughs> So zini nateleza nikikimbia then I nilikuwa nataka nifanye hivi ni pie you do you know what i did nini nataka nimeingia staff room what nikapata na mr mushemi nikamwambia huyu ana nikimbia na vinyonga huyu and then now mr mushemi was like ako happy kumbe philip alikuja akafika kwenye mlango wa staff room akakimbia akatoroka nilikuwa natetemeka hivi like hey spend ya So, okay. tupitie baadhi ya jumbe ambazo. Wewe unaogopa nini zaidi? Mimi yeah. spendi nyoka. Eh. Hey. Hey. Nyoka pendi una wengi. Ila uh -huh. nikimwona atashtuka na ile but hawezi mm. nizuia nikose kufanya Kenya ndaka kufanya. Mimi atafanya hata nitahame hiyo town. You know. Eh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. Mimi na kuna ka, 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 kitu kingine kana kuanga kwa kwa bafu bafu. Unajua kwa Kalizad? Ka ge, ka, Kalizad ka, ka, keupe. Ni hindi tunitenga gate. Kana kani kama kanaenda kwa Salaman. Kana ka, ka transparent. <laughs> Bas nimeiona. Hata mimi hapo sikapendi. Hako <laughs> hata hako pia. Uh -uh. Alafu huko kwanza upate world white. How expect kuna kitu hapo. Alafu kuna kitu kitu. Hadi karibu fanye niona the right thing zama niko za. And especially wale watu ambao wanaishi maeneo ambayo yana joto jingi. Joto jingi sana places like Baringo kule chini Margat. Eh places gani nyingine maybe huko wapi kwingine kwenye kuna joto joto. Kuna wanyama wanyama wa maeneo yana joto joto mara nyingi huwa wakubwa sana. Hata buibui wa maeneo ya joto joto huwa kubwa. Eh nyoka wa maeneo yenye kuna joto ni wakubwa sijui mbona ah. so kuna vitu watu wanaogopa mm. lakini mimi nilishangaa mm -hmm. you know mwingine anaona mende anataka kuruka fitini <laughs> mende mende <laughs> 
Ben. Kuna tu jezi zoe. You know. Hizo anapatanga tu kwa movies. Nani? Nani? Nini? Nenda. Are you serious? You know. So what we're gonna fear yeah, be too different <laughs> yeah. and all that. Praise God team. Amen. Great to see you indeed. Joy tuned kutoka nyeri. Okay. Uh -huh. And I say my thanks for the encouraging to see you, especially mm -hmm. there. Being rooted will help you to overcome so many things. Ato um, unasema unaweza hama kama Sylvia ukikutana na huyo mnyama mwingine. But kuna kuna wengine wanaenda kwa kwa hiyo please za nini wanaenda kuelekea kwa shingo. Okay. Snake park. Let, let's just agree. Haiwezi ni zuia nifanye kwenye nataka kufanya but usijaribu kuweka kwa kuinama umchukue atakuja kuniweka kwa shingo. Toko itania ole. Alafu kwanza unaekelea kwa shingo inaanza kukuzunguka. Usijaribu. So mimi ni ile akipita hapa kama na <laughs> Siwezi ati nikose kufanya chini. Yes, niaenda kwenye naenda okay. na lakini sasa ikifika hiyo ati yaku hapa hiyo uh -huh. siwezi. Ushaona video fulani mtu ameenda kaekelewa na ni mwanamume akiongea na ongea na beze. Moment aliekelewa. You know, na amefuga paka hizo zile ndio. Alafu sasa kama kichwa inakanga nika kubwa. Yeah, that's it. I'll come get us out. This is a snake out. They're putting it on my shoulders. I love it. I can't. 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 <coughs> yeah. Australia. Yeah. Hmm? Yes. Uh -huh. There are places there mm -hmm. whereby mm -hmm. mm -hmm. then all of a sudden mm -hmm. kitu inapita. Then kufanya hivi. Unapatana nayo. Unapatana nayo. Ah. Uko mpaka uh, you know kuna places mm -hmm. uko kwa nyumba. Inakuja kwa mlango kuku kuku then kwenda kuchungulia unapata ndio ina. Sasa uko wewe ukienda utaishi kuruka juu. <laughs> kidogo kidogo. Oh my god. Watu wale what's wrong no! Sylvia? <laughs> Good, Leah. But it, it reaches a point, I think, whereby you get used to. I don't know. You can't get used to. Unless you park. Nakuru, 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 unless you park. Nakuru. I think we went there sometime. Yeah. Na kampata kivuka kwenye barabara. Na alikuwa na kama nikama amemeza kitu. Mm -hmm. You so know. Alikuwa, okay. Mi hata nambaka nikashuka because of exactly. And you know you're not so, okay, nimeji. <laughs> and you know you're not supposed to do that kwa game yeah, park. Because uh, you're not supposed to do that kwa game park. Na simba yuko hapa. Yeah. Na hata kurarue Kuru, vibasa. Eh, so, but tulikuwa na. A guide. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, tu, nikashuka. Mm -hmm. And then akienda. Nikambua akiwa amemeza kitu. Mm -hmm. he, he can barely. Move. Attack you. Uh, oh. So, alikuwa ndapita tu place ya ende tu. Haka pita kubwa sana. Haka pita haka enda. And you know. And haka nadani wako. Eee. So what we are called different fears, you know. And some praise God, Wilson and Sylvia. Wow, what a great Tega Sikio. Never break even when the situation is so hard and difficult, where it is not easy, but the grace is sufficient for everyone. Joy kutoka kule rumuruti. Kuna Jane Maina na sema good morning, Kamiti and Sylvia. Good morning. A, power, a very powerful, encouraging, tega secure. May God help me to be firmly rooted in His Word. For when I'm rooted in the Word of God, I can ba I can bend, but I won't break. Yeah. Thanks be to God for uh, after all the circumstances and struggles of life, we will stand again. Amen. Let's stay tuned in from Nyeri. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Nafurio kwamba utanza kuweke wapale ndevo tuzione pale. Ana sema wow. Kamete si umeni hubiria. Be blessed. I will not break, but stand firm in the Lord. Asante sana na mungu azidi kukui. Mm -hmm. uh, Jacqueline kutoka Mombasa. Asante na utukufote ni wa mungu. Thank you. Okay. Kuna Mili Zbeti anasema good morning. Kwa hile. Okay. Good morning, Tim Rausha. Good morning. Very powerful, Tega Sikio. May God help us to stand in our position no matter what the oh, situation yes. is. Have a great and blessed day ahead of you guys. Thank you so very much. Thank May you. God bless you. Okay. Asama, amen, amen. Great, Tega Sikio. God bless you, Kamete and Sylvia. Have mm -hmm. a blessed day ahead. Christine kutoka kule Nairobi. Mm-hmm.
Uh, Kuna, good morning, Sovereign Committee. Good morning. Looking lovely this Wednesday. Thank Hashtag you. Tega Secure. It's a wonderful lesson this morning. Stay blessed, guys. Asante sana. Stay blessed too. And as a powerful Tega Secure, thanks, Committee. I'll be flexible but won't accept to break. I will root myself in the Word of God from the boy I learned to call the Father for help. And when he comes, I have two duties trust him and follow instructions. From the Father, I may lose minor things but will focus on the greater calling, saving of the lost sacrifice for others. I'm educated this morning. Susan Wamboy kutoka kule Ongata Rongai. Asante. Mm -hmm. Yes, kuna asifiwe Yesu roho asifiwe sana. Imagine the ruba na mawimbi itakuja maishani na itaondoka. Wa Kristo basi tusimame katika mwamba wetu Yesu. Mbarikiwe sana Davis David Sire, Davis Sirere, Sirere kutoka mji wa Naro. Asante sana Davis yes, Sirere. So oh, you have reminded me about someone I was to give some feedback. Mm -hmm. I could get to see Paul and Masai Mara. Praise God this morning. Praise God. Indeed, this is what I needed to hear this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm bending for the longest time, but I can testify that being born again and rooted in the Word of God, I have not allowed the uh, societal laughter towards my states and harsh questions break me. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that, Taka Secure. It's a confirmation that indeed God is about to make me stand again. Yes. Shiro Kutoka Kule Kiambo, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. God is there for you. Absolutely. You won't break. Exactly. You will stand again. You will stand for In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Could I uh, end the letter? Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay. Asama, good morning. Good morning. God's people. Amen. I'm much blessed by the Tega Secure for today. Mm -hmm. Why? I am really going through a lot, mm -hmm. but I won't allow myself to break. I'm encouraged, uh, encouraging myself um, in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Allah thanks a lot that I remain rooted in his word. Isaiah 60, 22 is the word that says, when his time is right, he, the Lord, shall do it. I am really waiting on God to bless me. Shirosu kutoka kulesu bukia. Yes. Okay, niende niendele mwelekeza nasema praise God come in one jar let's be like that bamboo even if we face what ata to bebe aje changamoto za maisha mm -hmm. tusionekana kwamba tumeisha but hizi changamoto mm -hmm. zikipita tutakuwa kama tulivyokuwa hapo awali kabla ya mawimbi mm -hmm. tuzidi kujengeka katika neno la Mungu ndo ata tukiteleza tusizame mm -hmm. hata walodhani hatutaendelea waone tumezidi ushindi kwa utukufu wa Mungu favored mom kangundo mm -hmm. huko ndiko liko nafikiri mwingine hapa anasema bwana Yesu asifiwe kamete na one Wa hiyo tega sikio inanifunza hata mambo gani yaje. Lazima uwe strong, panguza yeah. vumbi, amka wendele na safari. Mm -hmm. Mungu awalinde. Bye. Anasama ni flozi kutoka kule. Buru, buru. Mm -hmm. And Thank then kuna so mingine much. hapa. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ambe anasema, a good morning and praise God in Raushua. Good morning. Unasema today's tega sikio is very, very powerful. Mm -hmm. um, unasema, let your roots grow down into him mm -hmm. and draw up nourishment from him so you will grow in faith strong and vigorous in the truth you were taught. Let your lives overflow with thanksgiving for all he has done. The Father there represent the Holy Spirit of God. He is our helper and comforter. Very blessed with it from Anira's family. Kutoka kule matiti. Matiti. Matiti ni wapi? Matiti. Matiti. Abu tuambia matiti ni wapi? Yes. Kuna hapa Charlo Gideon anasama praise the Lord. Amen. From Kivani Kivani Gundo. Kangundo. Kangundo. Eh? Kangundo. Kangundo. Yes. Our God Kila mahali yeka en hapo. Kangundo. Uh, okay. Our God is able and has an, uh, an accountable formulas to bring his loved ones from any situation. Yes. No matter how worse <coughs> it looks. Uh, Isaac Charlo Gideon. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much. Asante sana. Thank you so very much. Yes. Yeyote yule ambaye umweza kutuma ujumbe wako mm -hmm. kutokana na tagasikio hiyo ya leo. Yes. Kitu kimoja ambacho ni najua ni kwamba yeah. tukasema ya kwamba utume ujumbe. Mm -hmm. Utueleze mambo ambayo ya mekufanya ukapinda. Yeah. Najua tuta sikia mambo mazito sana mm -hmm. lakini katika kila jambo ambalo unalipitia yeah. na inafika mpaka na mahali mm -hmm. ukiangalia vizuri unaona kana kwamba unafika mwisho acha nikwambie yeah. hakikisha ya kwamba you don't break yes i remember wakati mm -hmm. ambapo tulikuwa journalism club in high school mm -hmm. um, jamaa ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Henry Alois mm -hmm. ali ali tusu tukitengeneza kadi za kupea members yeah. akaweka ka nini msemo pale akasema hope is the last thing we lose Mm -hmm. So that means by the time atinafika mahali at you want to lose hope mm -hmm. it is not even possible yeah. you know mm -hmm. so fika mahali yeah. kwenye ndio mambo yamekusukuma yeah. but please make sure that you don't break mm -hmm. and make sure kwamba even during that period mm -hmm. you are deeply rooted in mm -hmm. the word of god yes. and <clears throat> when you are going through 
challenges and mm -hmm. problems in this life, yeah. always pray to God mm -hmm. and also be very attentive and just listen mm -hmm. to the still voice yeah. concerning the lessons that you are being taught in that situation. Because that situation will not last forever. Mm -hmm. A time is coming and will be ushered into a new season. Mm -hmm. But sasa shida ni, kama hau takuwa umelearn something wakati ambapo you are struggling. Yeah. Even when God atakubariki, itakuwa rahisi sana kwa kukusawa kule ambako mungu wa mekutoa. Yeah. So ni vizuri even as you are going through, uwe ni ugonjwa or whatever it is that you are going through. Mm -hmm. Ni vizuri utake kujua mungu anakufundisha nini katika hiyo hali. Kwa sababu yeah. utakacho jifunza kutokana na hiyo hali, mm -hmm. wakati utabarikiwa, kile ambacho lijifunza katika hali ya ugumu mkubwa mm -hmm. ndio itakuwa kama speed governor mm -hmm. every time you want to do something crazy yeah. utakuwa unakumbuka alikokutoa Mungu unasema yeah. e na kwa sababu ya pale ambapo amenitoa mm -hmm. i will not compromise yeah. i will not do this i will, I will not, not do that, that. Mm -hmm. lakini itakuwa it's a waste yeah. ya kwamba umepitia kipindi cha uchungu mkubwa mm -hmm. na machozi mengi yeah. na huyu ya kwamba there is nothing you have learned Huko tu. Yaani hata siku ambazo umebarikiwa watu wanakuangalia wanauliza. Mm -hmm. Yaani huyu mm -hmm. hata baada ya Mungu kumbariki kiasi hiki yeah. na tunajua pale ambapo alikuwa, mm -hmm. yaani ameamua kumdhihaki Mungu hadharani. Oh my god. Si Mungu akusaidie. Mm -hmm. Usikue wale watu ambao watu wanakuhurumia because of what you are going through. Mpaka kuna watu ambao wamejifunga kule na kunywa wakikuombea. Kuna watu ambao kama kuna kitu ambacho kinawasumbua katika fikra zao ni wewe. Kuna watu wanalia machozi mengi, wengine hata mpaka hata wanalia wakisema Mungu kumbuka huyo dada. Mungu remember that brother. Mm -hmm. Alafu sasa ifike wakati ambapo God has remembered you, mm -hmm. amekuinua, mm -hmm. then unaanza kufanya mambo mpaka watu wanauliza. Gai. Ndio tuliombea. Huyu ndiye alikuwa katika ile shida kweli. Mm -hmm. And even when they ask you, Kweni, mm -hmm. don't you remember where God brought you from? Mm -hmm. It's my life. I do what I want. How will you avoid kufika your level? Ni wakati ambapo you are learning lessons now. Mm -hmm. Because those lessons, zita kusaidia kwamba hata wakati ambapo utainuliwa. Mm -hmm. Utakuwa unakumbuka kule ambako mungu na kutuwa unasema, mm -hmm. ah, ah, siwezi nikafanya hivi. Yeah. Ah, ah. Kwa sababu alintuwa yeah. katika hicho kitanda cho hospitalini, mm -hmm. siwezi nikafanya hivi. Yeah. Wow. There are lessons mm -hmm. that you are being taught. Mm -hmm. There are lessons there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. usikubali kutoka tuko hiyo season brrr, and you have not learned anything. There are lessons. Wakati ambapo ndalala nja, there are lessons there. Mm -hmm. Wakati ambapo umevalia kiatu mpaka kimeinama, kimeisha na una hela za kununua kingine, there are lessons there. Mm -hmm. Ndivyo ile siku ambayo Mungu atakuinua. Yeah. Huto sawa alikokutoa. Mm -hmm. Itakuwa ni shida kubwa na itakuwa ni majonzi mengi na itakuwa ni huzuni ulioje na itakuwa a waste ilioje kwamba watu wanakuangalia wanasema guy huyu ni yule mwenye tulikesha tukiombea Mungu amkumbuke mm. sasa ndiye huyu Mungu amemkumbuka yani sasa hivi ndivyo anafanya yani kutuonyesha mm. he does not even care mm. fanya vile mnataka Mungu atusaidie sio kabisa now okay mhm mm tunge Kwa Eti wanabishania nini hawa? Nani hawa? Si hawa wenye unasema. Hey. Oh, Matata is in Kakamega County. Oh. Nia la Luandueti. Where you came some time back for Hualisia. Okay. <laughs> Tulikuwa na wewe. Unakumbuka Luandueti? Oh, the day we went to Kakamega very early in the morning. Yeah, I remember. So, nimeambua Matata iku just around there. Around there, wow. Yeah. Sasa, hey, kuna vita mahali. Yeah. Okay? But I will start from the top, from okay. the beginning. So, this is what happened. Uh, obviously, there was a family, a father and a mother, yeah. and wakapata sons, two okay. sons, okay? And so uh, the family, uh, the mother and the father, they were so, well, they were so motivated to start business. Like, that's what, that's the goal that they shared together as a family. So, as mm -hmm. the husband and the wife. Okay. So, so, wakanzisha biashara, a family business. Wakanzisha moja, and it was doing so good. It was doing so well. Ilko nasedia ku pay the bills. They were living a luxurious life. Watoto nasoma the most prestigious schools. They were doing good. Okay? Mm. And so, after e business mekua kubo sana, it was booming, making profits evil. Hai, so, so, ika fika point ingine, iyo business ika za another business. Yes. But so, so, this one is smaller, and it's still <coughs> upcoming. So for for these two sons, Moja, Tuape Majina, 
tuseme Peter and Paul. Okay. Sawa. So, All right. Okay. Nice imagine how halisi is yep. doctor after Peter and Paul brothers. All right. So Peter is the firstborn, Paul is the secondborn, okay? Mm -hmm. So Paul Peter after, is the firstborn, Paul is the secondborn. Yes. Okay. So Peter aka fika point aka feel anataka kusoma maju. Mm -hmm. So that he can get better at his craft. Kwa hivyo okay. akapelekwa United States. Sawa oh, sawa. All right. Kusoma. That's good. Alafu Paul akabaki nyuma. The last bond. The last bond. Okay. So the last bond do mekwa kisedia na mambo na biashara and mostly because the business that started earlier in itajimo hands on amekwa kishuguli ka uko sana. Sawa Nani? sawa. Um, uh, Paul. Okay. Paul Peter, Peter meenda. Peter ndeli enda majuku soma. Peter meenda majuku soma. Okay. So uh, Paul do mebaki. All right. So Paul do mekwa kisedia wazazi kuran both businesses but amekwa involved sana in the first one. Do I say the one that ku? is booming. Yeah, the one that is booming. Okay. Do I say de ku ku grow zaidi. All right. So, ikafika a particular point, sasa wazazi wamekua old, and now it's time for them to hand over the business to the sons. Okay? Mm -hmm. Na sasa, uh, by virtue of uh, Peter being the firstborn, the mwenye kwa maju, yeah, mwenye kwa maju hmm. anafa kupewa the bigger business, alafu, uh, Paul lapewe the other business. Why? But now, Why? by virtue of being the firstborn son, apewe the bigger business, I inherit the bigger business, alafu, Paul, I, achukua, I, I, the other one, okay? The one that is starting? The one, uh, the one that is still young, hija grow. Okay. But now, Paul is feeling this is not, it's not right. Kwa sababu, yote imyote nye pita amekuwa maju, yeye amekuwa hands on, kusede ibi ashari yeze kusimama the bigger one now. Adi ame double profit. Kwa hivyo wana feel he's very much deserving to have the bigger business, Peter akuja work on this other small one. Mm -hmm. But Peter, Peter nasema, by virtue of me being the firstborn son, this big business belongs to me. The same same way unasadi easy profits, endo chukwe ile ingine ndogo, utengeneze. Lakini ya nasema pana, mimi nimekuwa niki work on this. So this is my work. You go pick that one who wants it from scratch. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the parents are torn. Who gets what? Who gets what? Okay, initially wazazi walikuwa miamu aje? Wazazi walikuwa nasema. Sasa hapa minu kwenye mepata ina fix. Noje ile walikuwa na waita waonge, wa communicate. Mm -hmm. But for them walikuwa nataka, the first born son apate, the business in yimesha mama. Alafu Paul apate, the small one. But Paul is like, mini mekua around. Mindo ni mekua nikisaidia profits zaibi ya sharakubwa. Mm. Na ni min, I've worked on it, I know everything. I know this company in and out. Mm -hmm. I have been helping it make more profits. That it's doing way better ever since mm -hmm. I came. So, mbona mnataka kunitupa kwa hii njine, inye bado it's still starting off. Si Peter alienda kusoma majuna akona skills. Mm -hmm. Ya kujia tengeneza hiyo, mini endele tu kufanya kuyonikuwa nafanya. But now Peter na feel, wazazi wanataka kunipay mindo firstborn son. So, so I'm virtue, entitled to the bigger one. Yeah, by virtue of being the firstborn son, this should be my business. Wewe chukwe yondogo, venye tu umetengeneza hii tengeneza hii. Utalea hii. So who deserves what? Sasa na nimenez dea kikudili na hiyo ishu. Now. Tuli postpone kutoka mandi, but sasa wache, let's let's do this side. Who deserves what? Now, this is the first thing. Mm -hmm. Kama Peter hangeenda maju, yeah. kusoma. Mm -hmm. Sinu kusema angekua kishugulika sana pia na hizi biyashara. Kama mm -hmm. hangeenda yeah. maju. Mm -hmm. Na, uzuri ni, yeah. kilicho mpeleka maju, mm -hmm. he never went there to waste his time. Mm -hmm. Ali understand this. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Because alikuwa al 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 nataka kufadha mm -hmm. education yake. Yeah. So, amesoma, mm -hmm. amemaliza. Yeah. On the other hand, mm -hmm. the last one when you mm -hmm. Paul, he has given his all. Sure. To this business. Yeah. Let's I'm call a spade a spade. Yeah, I'm a double and not a big spoon. Mm -hmm. So, I'm a sukuma biashara ya wazazi. Mbaka imeza biashara nyingine. Meaning. Sasa hapa nipo nataka mimi na wewe siju kama tutayawana. Uh -huh, okay. Meaning. Uh -huh. Ya kwamba Peter, uh -huh. no Paul, uh -huh. ana mkono wa biashara. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. He's an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Na ako na kibali. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. And somehow mm -hmm. ako na hiyo grace. Mm -hmm. Unajua kwa nini nafurahi about uh, mm -hmm. Yes, Paul. Mm -hmm. It is because what tunafanya mid morning mm -hmm. hapa. Yeah. Tukiangalia how things happen in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you with no fear of contradiction, mm -hmm. ya kwamba pita kwa na hiyo grace. Mm -hmm. 
ya kwamba akiingia katika biashara hiyo mm-hmm. biashara ina peak yeah. and that is why biashara yao mm-hmm. imeza biashara nyingine ndogo mm-hmm. now uh, the first born guy mm-hmm. peter is mm-hmm. coming back yeah. okay mm-hmm. Na sasa kuna issue ya who gets what because Peter feels ya kwamba kwa sababu yeye ni firstborn mm-hmm. he's entitled kupata biashara kubwa. Mhm. Even ndivyo anafeel. Yeah. Sendio? Yes, even though. Na yeye humse anafeel mm-hmm. because we ulipoenda kusoma maju mm-hmm. ndo nikabaki hapa. Mm-hmm. Nikihakisha kwamba hii biashara imesimama mpaka imezaa na nyingine. Mm-hmm. Wewe chukua hii ambayo inaanza. Mhm. Tulisoma maju yes. na skills. Utaifanya Yes. It develop ifika kama pale ambapo hii ambayo imefika lakini hutakuja mm-hmm. biashara ambayo nimeifanya imekuwa kiasi hiki ukuje uichukue mm-hmm. na mimi okay. tena nikaanze afresh bus Now mm-hmm. why am i feeling like why am i feeling like mm-hmm. well, <laughs> ningekuwa poor mm-hmm. badala ya yeah, issues mob mm-hmm. Having known mm. that God has graced me in that area. Mm-hmm. So I know I carry that favor. Mm-hmm. Mbona na feel ni kama ningekuwa Paul? Mm-hmm. Ningemwambia, is that what you want? Mm-hmm. Yes. If that is what you want, that is what you get. Ana feel apana. He has put his energy, all his effort on this particular business. Doesn't he think the same grace? Mm-hmm. Yenye God amemsaidia nayo mpaka hiyo biashara imefika kwenye imefika. Mm-hmm. Hata akienda aanze kale kadogo. Mm-hmm. Labda hata katakuwa kakubwa hata ishinde hii kwa umbali. But sasa anasema me have given my all. Mbona wewe uende majuku kuja uchukue my work? Like it's like me handing you my work. Ulenda majuku soma si ndio ndio skill. Kuja uchukue ndogo practice skills zako nayo hadi grow kwenye ishinde. If Peter feels Mm. By the virtue of being a firstborn is mm. entitled. Yeah. Sasa unaona ameanza kuleta age issues there. Eh, hey, I'm the firstborn. Ya kwamba I'm the firstborn and na mm. kulingana na how you have given it mm-hmm. nina feel. Mm-hmm. Ni kama pia wazazi wanaona that is how it should go. Eh, hey, wazazi wana feel yeye ndo firstborn acha chukue kubwa. Unaona? Eh. Hey. But sasa pia wazazi so, wana wamefika ina fix. Hakuna fix wamefika hao. Hakuna they have already decided. No, they have not decided. They have. Jupola ali aliwa confront na kaambia no. Have. Aliwaambia no. Ni wenye akuambia they have. <laughs> okay. The fact that at first hiyo uh-huh. ndio kitu kilikuwa mind yao. Yeah. Na kuanza kuona kwa sababu ndiye firstborn yeah. wacha chukue hii biashara kubwa mm-hmm. sita kudanganya. Mm-hmm. The father and the mother. Mm-hmm. Lazima wamekaa mahali chini na wakaongea. They have spoken about it mm-hmm. na wakaamua mm-hmm. that is the way to go. Mm-hmm. So ni vile pia wana feel mm-hmm. but, but our last born son here he has, has done so, so much. Hard that now mm-hmm. wacha tu tusimame hapa at crossroad mm-hmm. but si tukiulizwa mm-hmm. huyu mwenye ametoka majuu ndiye anafaa kupata ile biashara kubwa let me tell you selvia mm-hmm. badala ya mambo mingi na kushinda hapo tukiambiana na fadhili na madhi sijui nini yeah. oh ne 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 si god ndiye alinisaidia kanipe mpaka wisdom ya kukuza hiyo biashara mm-hmm. mimi nikikuwa paul nasema sawa achukue wacha nichukue hiyo ndogo mungu atanisaidia kama amenisaidia na hii hata yeye atanisaidia nayo na nimwachie. Lakini si ni unfair. Hebu imagine kufanya kazi giving your all to a particular company alafu kuja unyang'anywe kwa. Sasa utadu. So you fight for what's yours. You fight for your right. Atafight, not physically. At, at, not physically, nini. but aji explain. Si ameji explain na ni kama Asinga kije explain hadi waelewe. Si Peter alienda kusoma. Si ndio? Okay. Na amelete amepata hizo skills. What will you say? Because Wacha, now sasa wewe. Watch this is what I, I can already say. see. Mm, where I'm heading. <laughs> this is what I will say. Paul amekuwa home amekuwa kiwa on this business so sawa ame double the profit na nina agree na wewe sawa peter alienda kusoma si ndio you can't come practice your skills on a company that's already made you need to start from scratch ndio ujue kama chini ulienda kusoma ili kusaidia so aende asikuje kwa company already iko sawa unakuja kwa company iko sawa how will you know that you went and got good skills start from down ndio uweze ku rise na ukikwama unaweza ask your brother for help but don't go for what he has built Mm. Eh. Hey. Akuja test skills zake na this small company. No aise ku grow up. Mimi yeah. the fact that wazazi wana sim ni kama wana stand na first born. Mm. Cuz wacha ni kwambie, do you know what will happen? Do you know what will happen? What will happen? Do you know what will happen? What will happen? In case wa jaribu labda pita apewe hiyo ndogo. Mm. Do you know what will happen? What will happen? Mzozo kati ya these two mm-hmm. will never come to an end. Mm-hmm. Na inaweza fika mpaka na mahali whereby mm-hmm. you know vitu tuziende south. 
Because I feel wewe, yeah. the last born, mm -hmm. umepataje se? Kwa hii uko. Mina kwa bia, ataishi kumisumbua. Lakini ata the other way pia. Wacha likulize swali. Umu mse ya mekua maju. Mm -hmm. Sindio? Mm -hmm. Kweni hajui ya kwamba the last, the last born brother, mm -hmm. ndi ya mekua kishukulika na hiki tiote. Anajua yeah. majui? Anajua. See, he knows. Yeah. The fact that bado anapigania. Mm -hmm. Kuchukua whatever the last born ame establish. Mm -hmm. Don't you think amekuja akiwa na agenda? Where can't you even see that? Na sasa ya agenda ni mzuri ya mani malicious. Nini? Kwa sababu... Sasa, ndipo ni ondo ke drama. Hey. Si ninajua God ndi ya linipe grace. Mm. Na kanipe wisdom ya kustandisha hii bizna. Mm. You know? Mm. Mini na muambia. Oh. Kwa hivyo unafeel because you are the firstborn. Wendi wana deserve yo biyashara kubwa ye. Mm. Chukua. No, because I love my brother. I will encourage you to take the small business so that you can put your skills to the test. Ndo tujue hau kuenda maju kuwaste time. By the time yu kesi ifike hapa. Hey. Si ni kushindikana wa meshindikana. Hey. Si watu watu wako. Wako wat, wa, wana shino sawa fanya nini. Exactly. Eh. So, badili ya drama mo. Mm. Si God ni miyona kini saidi ya kukuza hii bizna. Eh. Mini na muambia. Kama una feel because you are the firstborn, mm. uko entitled kuchukua yu biyashara we chukua. Ni sawa. Mungu mwenye ni saidi yu biyashara imekua mbaki kafika hapo. Mm. The same same God. Mm -hmm. Ata ni saidi ya teye nye inaanza. Mm -hmm. Itakuja, ata probably itakuwa kubwa kuliko hiyo. Mm -hmm. Period. But sasa, because I love my brother, I really love you and I don't want to make things easy for you. Do you? Do jifunze. Jifunze from scratch. Do you think that he cares that you love him? Now he has, na to, care. Na he has na to care that I love him. The fact that he has I, not cared by now. for him. <laughs> Se so, mekataa kukia by now. That is why you have brought that issue here. Akuja anze na hii ingine. So, na wewe uko achukue ile ndogo? Achukue ndogo. Mini nge muachie yu kubwa? Achukue ndogo. Juu. Ndwa wako on skills zake. Hizi madrama zote. Kama haelewi. Su muachie. No, you can help him understand. Ha. <laughs> Our dear viewer, what yeah. would you say about this particular issue? Mm -hmm. This guy goes maju. Yeah. He comes back, mm -hmm. and then ile biashara yenye imekuwa established na the last born, mm -hmm. anasema yeye kwa sababu ni first born ndiye anataka kuichukua. You know? Mm -hmm. And the last born is also feeling no, ulienda maju kusoma it's okay. Mm -hmm. But umerudi ukapata ni mestruggle mm -hmm. mpaka hii business ime stand mm -hmm. na imeza nyingine. Mm -hmm. Na sasa mimi sita kuatia hii. Na anasema I am the first born na wazazi ni kama wana side na first born. Mm -hmm. What will you do? Always do avoid your drama mwambie basi chukua acha mimi nichukue hiyo ndogo. What will you say about it? Hebu tuambie. Lakini si na macheti na utaishi kunyang'anywa kila kitu juu na achilia tu. Sasa atanyang'anya nini nyingine? Sasa atakuja mnyang'anye hiyo. Sema sio ya kuze hiyo iko kubwa kuliko ingine akuja mwambie by virtue of the first time. Ai si sasa hiyo itakuwa court case. Ai ni nakwambia itaishi ku happen hivyo. They won't ever settle. Akiacha tu iende hivyo from the from the word go. Ah. Mimi hmm? amwachie kwa kweni <laughs> si wewe God amekusaidia umeestablish wacha nikwambie wacha nikuchanue Paul. Si God amekusaidia uliweza kusimama ni hiyo biashara akakupe knowledge mm -hmm. akakupe wisdom na hiyo biashara imekuwa established your brother has come na anaonekana kabisa venye amesimama amemaanisha hiyo biashara ndio atachukua but there drama nyingi na mwaka ni kuisha inaisha mm -hmm. muachie hiyo yenye imezaliwa na hiyo ianzane nayo the same god who gave you kibali mm -hmm. atakusaidia na hiyo biashara itasimama amen I what do you kuze, think our dear viewer ikuze ikuwe kubwa huo mwingine akuja tena mnyang'anya by virtue of being the first boy atamnyang'anya aje kujete sasa si ndo nasema Apewe hii enye bado ya ja establish. Ati itamse, itakuwa an avenue for him to practice the skills that he has learned. Hashtag dilemma. Tell us, what do you think about that situation? Ah. Second born, akubali kwa chilea this business that he has been working on. Apeane kwa first born, aende kwa the small one. Ama first born, a relax, arudi kwa the smaller business. A work on the skills he learned maju. We cannot end it at 10 minutes because yes. we have just introduced the topic. So we'll need like 15 because we also need to go through the feedback. Mm -hmm. uh, kwa sababu tukiachia hapo hanging then itakuwa tuje solve anything so we'll need maybe uh, tutachukua tutachukua ka break and then when we come we'll go through the feedback but in the meantime tuambie amwachie ama asimwachie mimi ukuje utoke maji ukuje ni stress na ninajua mm -hmm. kabisa ni god amenisaidia amenipea grace mm -hmm. na hiyo biashara ikasimama yeah. na umekuja hapa kwa sababu we ni first born mm -hmm. unafilia kwamba wewe ndio uko intro si ukae nayo nitaenda nitakuachia na kwa by the way nazita kuachia kwa ubaya si venye ninaifanya hivi nitakuachia kwa roho poa na niende nichukue hii yenye inaanza and i am sure the same same god mm -hmm. atafanya hiyo biashara itagrow Alafu kuja tena uninyang'a. Ndio sasa kushinda ukitishia watu si, mm. you know. Si hata si kuatishia ni kuambia tu nime work hard kwa hii. So me, I'm just asking for what I worked hard for. Eh? Nimelima. Si wacha nichukue mavuno. 
Mbona wewe mwenye haukulima hata huko involved au jeta ni nini imekuwa ikiendelea? Unataka kuja kuvuna mahali huko lima. You did Aya, put energy. Tuseme mimi ni firstborn nimekataa. Eh. Wewe kama Paul what will you do? Mimi kama Paul. Firstborn nimekataa. Hmm. Na mimi ndo Paul. Unaweza fanya nini? Kwamba Mungu change mind yako. Ndivyo kuja hapa. Mm. Si ni kama mind yangu ije change. Yes, nitaomba hadi so, change. Kwa sababu ni kukonfront na nikwambie tu tuambiane tu kweli. Nimefanya kazi hapa. Mbona unataka kuja kuninyang'anya mali kwenye nimekuwa niki ah. niki nini? Eh? Ni kukuconvince rudi huku kwenye kwa the small business. Mambo si ulisoma majuu eh. Na una uwezi kuja kuwa kwenye skills na already developed nini? Company Rudi hapa chini kidogo ujifunze funza alafu tutajua ni aje tutafanya. <laughs> what, what, what would you say about this? <laughs> Honestly speaking because I feel like kuna drama zingine that are no worth. Mm. If you know that God kabisa 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 amekugrease in a certain area. Hata mtu akikuja hapo ashinda kikusukuma. Si wachane tu na yeye. Si mwambie okay kwa sababu umeona imesimama so unafikiria kwamba ukiishika okay si asimombe mabaya <laughs> but amwambie <laughs> sawa if that is what you have uh, that is what you want that is what you get. Ichukue wacha nichukue hiyo yenye inaanza. I know the same God mwenye alinipea grace ya kustandisha hiyo biashara nyingine atanipea bado grace ya kufanya mpaka hii develop. Period. Tell us what do you think? Yes. Our platforms ni zile zile 0721105105 na pia tuko na 23814 na pia tuko MBCI TV Facebook page na kana unajua ni kwamba tuko pia MBCI TV YouTube channel. Ukituambia what you think about it then tungetaka kujua sana. The young brother because anaelewa vile vitu kwa ground vina kuanga mm. amwachie aachane na business za familia hata aende mbali kwanza huyu anasema mpaka aachane na hii nyingine yenye na grow aachane na business za familia aende mbali akajiendeleze na vyake binafsi cause mali za uko zina kuanga na mzozano always eh mata amwachia tayari amwambia chukua mpaka hiyo yenye inaanza alafu sasa atenda watu ah, sasa ni mali ya familia chukua aende akaanze yake na uko ni sawa tu lakini mimi niko na na feel ali fight for Mungu atamsaidia mmm ni watu nane za sema Jesus sasa imekuwa ngumu <laughs> <laughs> I think tuko na sijui kama ni fad, ni feedback ambayo tuko nayo pale <laughs> okay anasema anasema hai Raushwa can we have it there okay please mm -hmm. anasema hai Raushwa agi kutoka Mwea firstborn should take responsibility of a firstborn juu ako na skills achukue hiyo ndogo aikuze. Mm -hmm. So yeye anafeel kwamba kama firstborn yeah, akuja achukue hiyo ndogo aikuze. Bas, I work on his skills. Always he work on a, in a place on your skills in a place and you already established. Mimi mpaka na feel ni kama naweza support you akusema hata channel hiyo biashara mm -hmm. amwachie zote mbili aende akaanzishe zake. How do you unaka aje stay to? Mm. Okay, ulikuwa unasoma ndio. Mm. But utakaje huko alafu upate mm -hmm. venye ni mstrago luku mm -hmm. then unakuja unanitolea mm -hmm. kadi ya kwamba because you are the firstborn yeah. you deserve to take whatever I've been doing. Tena chukua mpaka hiyo nyingine nda nazo zote lakini sasa unaona ni familia ni biashara ya huko pia familia you must help ah. it you must nurture it ndio inakuwa passed down generations always we maliza tu hivyo Mbasi lina nasema kutoka Kisumu City hii ni kama drama ni kama video hapa mm -hmm. ni noma but what i think asimwachie ju god mm -hmm. ametunemesha kwa viwango mbalimbali mm -hmm. kwenda ikawa hata firstborn akiachiwa hiyo biashara ineza yeah. fail so firstborn ajisort na kazi nyingine so yeye amesema hawezi muachia mm -hmm. Sindio usikubali ku nini? Ni kama upewe blessing alafu upeane kama venye Esau alifanya. Sasa na wazazi wanaonekana wana side na first born. What do you do? Hapana. Kama umepewa hiyo nini? What do you do? Kuna haja gani upewe hiyo biashara alafu muishi hapo kushinda mkizozananga every morning? Ah mzazi anaweza nini kidogo? Juu mzazi pia ni kama hayuko sure size. Jua hata ameona eko kwenye last born ameweka. Mimi nakuachia lazima hmm? chokuwa. Uwezi fanya tu hivyo. Uwezi peana kazi yako hivyo. Ati ndio huyu umelima umevuna alafu nikupeshika. Unajibakisha. Sasa kama nimekuletea kisirani what will you do? Na kushinda every time tukiongea na kumwambia I'm the first born. Kila time I'm the first born. What do you do? Kama first born kwa a good example. Kwa a good example na urudi kwa biashara ndogo utengeneze. Let him leave it to his elder brother since yeah. he has the grace of increment and multiplication. Let him start afresh for the glory and honor of God. Anyira wa matete. Tayamesema mwa
Na sasa aki, akianza alafu kiumani uko mbele. Ndio sasa unakaa mna drama mob kutoka majuu. Mm. Na mimi ndio nimekuwa nikikapitia. Ni How do you just come and then you start demanding for a business that I have gone through so much? Mm -hmm. Isimame. Si unaona tu unanielewa? Unaona? Unamuelewa sasa, nini? Because mimi. Sita, that's why because sitaki hizo drama zako yeah. nitakuachia. The fact that even after kwenda majuu you cannot be able to reason na kuona kabisa nyewe I have done so much. Ah, nitakuachia. Hi, Mr. Ocha, pale? Yeah. Uh, can we have the them, please? Mama, please, yeah. good committee and sly. If it were me, I agree with committee because the beef between them will never end. It Tabi will never end. Tabi kutoka thika. It will never end. Ah, sasa ndo hiyo, either way, no matter what happens, your beef haita end unless they come to a Wanja ni kwambie, Sylvia. Hmm? Wanja ni kwambie. Eh. Yeah. Ushua na kitu, kuna time inafikanga, unanawia kitu mkono. Mm. Kwa badala tushinda tukiangaliana vibaya. Mm. Na mimi ninajua God amenipea grace ya hapa. Si ukae nayo hata hiyo nyingine yenye ndani. Imagine, imagine aende kwa hii small business alafu ikose kushika venye alikuwa ameshikisha ya kwanza. Ah Mungu atanisot na nje nyingine. Mm. Kwa sababu nikwambie. Mm. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Paul yeah. asikubali hata uh -huh. kidogo tena kuna sheria ya kufuatwa. Mm -hmm. Ni Pastor Job wa Kimende. Mm. Pasi amesema. Amesema. <laughs> Amesema vipi asikubali. Hmm? Ah, mimi zima drama za mara mnaulizana sijui nani last born sijui nani ana ah. Nani anafaa kupewa hii nani wa well, hii sijui. Hello guys. Hi. Committee, I support you on this. Uh, Mwelekezo tutanjulisha muda kwa na ma, mapumziko. Mabishano and fighting will just drain Paul mm -hmm. and it's a time waster. Mm -hmm. Paul achukue the small one yeah. with the grace and favor. Mm -hmm. He has it. Will grow na bado izae other branches kuzi yeye mm -hmm. akona experience. Peter akichukue the small one mm -hmm. na yeni beginner itaanguka tu. Paul amuachie hiyo kubwa because ata blessings za wazazi ziko na Peter. Alafu Peter ataitaji advice ya Paul for the sake of peace. Paul, let it go. Mama Elias. For the sake of peace. Yeah. So you compromise your own internal peace. Sylvia, have you not seen people who want to bring drama into your life mm -hmm. because of something? Yeah. And then as much like, as it's not worth it. It's not. Okay, is that what you want? Mm -hmm. Sawa, chukua. Eh, They are not even requesting. Mm. It's a command. Hiyo ndio unataka? Sawa. Chukua. There you go. I know, but sasa hii ni situation nini kidogo. It is a bit different and it's a bit sensitive. Tashindaga hapo mkiangaliana vibaya, mkiongeleshana kwa mafumbo, nini? Mara kuikisia hata kuna family gathering hata uwezi ienda. Unataki kwenda. You know, watoto wenu mkioa, watoto mm. utaanza kumwambia uli hata mkimuona ni munyama, I don't know what. Can we have that other one kama ni okay. mpya? Kuna uh, hashtag dilemma. I think Paul, the last one, should continue with the bigger business since I've experience kumiliko Peter and Peter should practice his skill on the smaller one. Exactly. Uliendo kasoma maju, how will you know that you're good enough if you don't work on it? And you can't work on it on a business that's already established. Kwa hivyo, Peter taking the smaller one, inamse actually ni beneficial kwake. Actually, Paul is doing him a favor. By giving him the smaller business, noeze kupractice skills zake, aize kugrow, apatio grace the same way as his brother, such that they can even start some other to smaller businesses that they can also raise up for their future kids. Akini, akienda tu kumpea kiti tu wa kiti tu hivyo, Hakuna mali kwenye hata nini. Hasha Delema, thank you Kamiti and Sylvia for the good work. Kamiti, I support you 100%. Paul mm -hmm. should not be worried because Akona spirit of success. So he should leave the business to Paul. Mm -hmm. uh, Peter, yeah. nani anafaa kuachia, huyu hata haku differentiate. Mm -hmm. Peter, mm -hmm. Paul anafaa kuachia Peter the business. Mm -hmm. And I feel that Paul will be the most successful, Peter will be the most successful and by the way, mm -hmm. Peter anaweza, Uya mechanganya hiyo majina yao watu. Mm -hmm. Biashara ni roho ya success and Paul already akona hiyo roho. Mm -hmm. Nani akona? Nani alibaki? Sini Paul? Paul eh. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul akona hiyo roho. Mm -hmm. There is no way he can fail. Lili kutoka kule kilifi. Mm -hmm. Hivyo ndovana sema. Okay. Mengine hapa anasema tukuna nyingine pale? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anasema no need to quarrel. Kama Paul na mpea pita. Mm -hmm. Na ninaenda kuendeleza. Yeah. Ile nyingine. And I don't like quarrels. I just surrender it to him. Mm -hmm. Favored mom. Kangundo. Chukua. Ta yingine mm -hmm. inanza. Oya. Oh, yeah. Like you just some some situations they need you to be uncomfortable so that you can make the right decision. So ako ka discomfort already kako. So ukisema uondoke probably ute avoid. Hiyo ni avoidance. You will avoid it for that particular now, moment. Now what do you want me like to do? It will catch on later. One way or another either through your generation or the What do you children, want me to do? It will catch up. Umetoka US na drama. What do you want me to do? 
what you, you can't avoid that situation. Face it head on. Present your facts. Huh? <laughs> do, do you want me to do it hapa? Like, what are you going to do? Mimi! Mimi na kuwachia baka yu nye inaanza na kambia. Mwame, chukua. But so sinona ndo na kambia, yu ni avoidance. Hautaki kudeal na situation venye yiko head on. Na itarika tena. Sasa. Kwa babu umechukua uka yeka kando, bale ya kuchukua we face head on. Even dokumenda, even dokumenda to state facts nini nini. You can help him understand that I have worked on this business. Ni mepati yu experience. Wame toka majume, me toka masomo. Don't come to a business. Yeah, yeah, kiyo first bono haoni idio. Ah, sisi ndoyo. Yeah, haoni idio. Lada haoni. Sisa that's why utamsidia kuona. Unamsidia kufungua macho. Nikusidi uone. Nikusidi uone. Wait, time yet your break in the fika. Nikusidi uone. Ah ah, ni ukweli. Niza kusidia kuona mahali kwenye hauoni. We are siblings. Huyo mkubwa akona kiburi. So, akishindwa na hiyo kubwa, still bado, atamfuata kwa hiyo ya pili. So, let the last bond move out of that argument. Because zinaweza leta vita vibaya sana in future. Huyo ata nasema, kana mpaka na hiyo ingine. Amuachie. Mbara na feel kama yu ni avoidance. Juta rikate. Wata ni huambie. Unu na zimali. Hmm. Tuongeo kweli. Unu nizimali hizi kwanza za kifamilia mkienza kuhitishana hapo mabitu hapo. Mkiambia naga uu nani alifanya wapi. Sijui nini. Plot ilikuwa mahali play. Nimesema hivi. Aliacha kama mesema niya. Sawa basi. Wacha tufanyi. Wasufanyi hivi basi. Peter and Paul wapatani wa Katie, okay? Paul has been working on this bigger business. Aendele tu kuiran venya mekua kiran. Ajaribu kuexplainia Peter. Nisawa hii business itakua yako. Lakini anza kwanza na hii. Ndogo, okay? Uisaidia kugrow, practice on your skills. And I will help you. Wakuze ibiashara basi, zikue at pa, alafu kila mto chukua yake. Now that he seems to have katad. Ah, sasa itabidi tu amweleweshe. Amweleweshe, ailewe. Wafanya hivo, because at least you will live everywhere. Kamete ni miyokoka, but huyo firstborn anafa kwanza hedi. We? Marwa. Huyo anafa kwanza hedi mbili. Chicho ifunguke. Unatoka huko, unakuja, nimeishi na shida. Alapu nakuja hapo kwanza kuniambia you are the firstborn. Uneza niambia hivyo ukiwa chini. Hapana usimpige, that's too much. Don't, don't. Hedi, usimpige. Kwa sasa hiyo itakuwa too much. Mbaka mamalizia na zile emoji za kujam. Zinakuwa redo. Mezikuwa. You know. Ati anafatu wa kienzo kusema. Hibi, 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 hibi. Ati anazamia chini. Unajua, I'm in the firstborn. No, don't. Usimpige. Tuna fahe dimpili Hashtag dilemma wa Hii mekua ngumu mali ya familia inakuwa na mizozo mingi Amuachie tu biyashara for the sake of peace Kwa ni mungu mwenye alimsaidia Kuendeleza biyashara Ata msaidia tu ata kwa hii ndogo Na itakuwa kubwa kuzi ata hao wazazi Ni kama wana support huyo jama mkubwa Joy kutoka Romotri And I agree with Joy Hao wazazi wanawengana pia Wako leaning towards But also I'm asking myself Mbono wanawengana kulean towards the firstborn well, we're going to lean towards the firstborn Jew, your virtue of being the firstborn. Like in Sasa, after Paul, I may bring in argument yake, and I feel like it makes sense. When it makes sense kwa hao, kwa sababu ni ukweli. Paul has been really giving his Then, the father, si baba yuko, kweni, the father cannot stand his ground, na seme mimi as the head of this family, ni miamuya kwamba, Peter, this is what you're going to get, where Paul, mwenye umekua hapa, take this bigger one. Sasa, wazazi, 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 Kufanya hii biyashara hii stand. The father has seen baka imefika na mahali, ingini imezaliwa. Then the father, quiet. Ako ina dilemma ata ye. Kwa ji dilemma and he's the... Kwa si Peter anasema mimi, mimi ndo firstborn, nafuwa kupewa hii. Paul anakuja anasema ni mefanya kazi. Fathers give directions. Ndo yo sasa. Sezi ya kuina dilemma. Ako kwa dilemma gani na hindi ya lituza. No, the decision at a make will either make or break his family. And he doesn't want to do it alone. Sasa, wacha nukulize Sylvie. A very simple question. Kama fathe amashindwa cha kufanya, sindu tutafanya nini? Anataka tumsaidie kufigure out what will happen. Si fathe? Ha, unajua yeye kwanza, alimes kwenye alionekana, kuna pandenya naegemea. So already, I know, the last one, already, 
at the back of his mind mm -hmm. anajua mm -hmm. ya kwamba Buddha na Masa mm -hmm. wanastand Wana. na firstborn mm -hmm. so if that is what he has agreed then si akam tu mara moja aseme mm -hmm. mimi kama baba yako Peter mm -hmm. na kama baba Paul nimeangalia this situation mm -hmm. na nimeamua ya kwamba enyewe kwa sababu wao walikuwa wameenda kusoma mm -hmm. wacha tukue tu biashara kubwa mm -hmm. wacha tukue nyingine ndogo mm -hmm. and then from there mm -hmm. then uh, our friend Paul here mm -hmm. and I'm not saying that Peter is our enemy mm -hmm. then atajipanga ajue what to do mm -hmm. so anasema before a force his hand anataka the two brothers sasa baba akiingia ina dilemma ni kuze honestly hey. the priest of the house akiingia ina dilemma mm -hmm. watoto watafanya nini sasa si ndio anataka watoto wapatane waongee ndio isikuwe ni kama ame force his hand na ujanja na amepea na command si kudanganyi but huo eh? mzee hapo mm. kuna ka ujanja kuna ka kitu sasa ndio ninasema but sasa Paul atafanya nini na sasa kama kuna ka ujanja mm. badala ya mambo mingi mm. na then ifike mahali mpaka Buda anze kuona ni kama na disrespect mm. then achukue hiyo kubwa mm. yes If it's okay nitachukua hii ndogo then. Utapeana urithi wako tu hizo. Sasa Sylvia what mm. do you do? Like maybe it's God's will for you to fight for what belongs to you. Lafu unapeana <sighs> kivo blessing. Baraka za Mungu hazina bajonzi. Mimi mm. namwachia. Aya. Kuna wengine Peter Peter na uh, Peter akichukua the small one na yeye ni beginner itaanguka tu. Paul amwachie hiyo kubwa because hata blessings za wazazi ziko na Peter. Alafu Peter atahitaji advice from Paul so yeah, for the Okay, mama Elias. Kutoka kule Naivasha. Okay, ni Ian kutoka Naivasha kama ni mimi na mwachia kwa Mungu huo alali. Ahe. Okay, kuna huyo last bona achukue hiyo business ndogo lakini apate boost maybe financially from the bigger business and the agendeleza Frank from Nakuru. Yes, that also makes, you know, a lot of sense. Yeah, the young bro has blessings and favor just like Jacob so uh -huh. let him leave the job to his bro. Yeah. David Sirere from Naro. I agree with you 100%. Mtashinda hapo mkibishania nini? Mhm. Mm Hashtag dilemma. Hi, inside my heart, I will say never, <laughs> never <laughs> <in> caps. <laughs> but, but according to circumstances, I will say okay and begin with a small one. Ingine kiangu kashi dani zake. Allah. There you go. Joanne from Naivasha. Oh yo 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 yo. <laughs> What about the partner on both businesses? Oh at a partner aje na the first born amekuja tu akijua ako so entitled. Yeah, I want this and this is mine. Do you have another one? Thanks. Hey, what? Aya. Kuna huyu mwenye anasema pursue mm -hmm. peace with all men. Yeah. Just leave it to him. God was with Joseph yeah. in all he did. If he is blessed, he is blessed. You prosper because God is with you, but not because you are the first or the last born. Mm -hmm. Pursue peace with all men. Jane Mwero kutoka Kiambu. Dilemma? Okay, hashtag dilemma. Hey, committee and Wanza. Hi. I'm Celestine from Gilgil. I think both of them should work as a team to make the small business grow. After two years of both businesses growing excellently, then they decide uh, the decision should be done. What are you Andi? Eh. Hashtag dilemma. Hey, committee and Wanza. I'm Celestine from Gilgil. I think both of them should work as a team uh -huh. to make the small business grow. Uh -huh. After two years, so both businesses Of, of both businesses growing excellently then the decision should be made so what team up wa mshe ile biashara ndogo believe that will be nice wa mshe ile biashara ndogo jota the father at a test there wa mshe ile biashara ndogo then ikue uh -huh. first bona seme uh -huh. when i came from the state hata yeah. nilikusaidia tu amshe hii sure. kwa hivyo even in this one uh -huh. ni kuna share zindani ai what will you do ai hiyo ni unfair Variant, What did yeah. you do? Ati basi abaki kwa hii niende kwa hiyo nyingine. Abaki nayo. Mambo tumesaidia ika grow pamoja. Sawa sawa. Hata sitakuitisha baki na hiyo niende kwa ile nyingine yenye nilgrisha wakati haukuwa around. Tonda break tuje tumalize. But <laughs> mimi ah mimi wezi nipe stress. Hapana. Mimi wezi. Isha. The only things ni siwezi fanya siwezi kukupiga head kama <laughs> nimetuambia hapa. <laughs> siwezi. <laughs> Kukupiga head siwezi kwa hata ninaweza disfiga kichwa yangu. Cuz ninaweza kupiga head mbaya sana na siwezi taka na siwezi. But mimi ukiniletea shida sana mimi nakwambia chukua hiyo hata hiyo yenye kama nyingine kama chukua. Na mimi mnatoka. Cha niende. Hivyo tu. Hai, tena baada ya kurudi.
A reputable institution for anyone looking to unlock their child's full potential. From early childhood education to our junior school, our experienced educators impact students with relevant knowledge and skills for them to soar high. From well-equipped classes to modern laboratories, peaceful dormitories, computer room and a music room. Students partake in co-curricular activities like swimming, skating, and many more. Our nutritious diets are sourced from our school farms and not forgetting purified water that is safe for consumption. We have a fleet of buses that are accessible to our students for comfortable transportation to and from school. To enroll your child, contact us through 0728 040 883. High Peak Schools, Quest for Excellence. Welcome to Goshen Medical and Technical College Thika, where dreams become reality and futures are empowered. At Goshen, we offer a wide range of courses in both the medical and technical fields designed to meet your aspirations. Medical courses such as Kenya Registered Community Nurse, Theatre Technology, Health Records, Orthopedic and Trauma Medicine, Nurse Assistant, Medical Engineering, Laboratory Science Technology. Technical courses like Catering and Hotel Management, Fashion Design, Hairdressing and Beauty Therapy, ICT and Computer Packages, Catering to Your Creative and Technological Ambitions. Our students receive hands-on experience through industrial attachment which we organize for them, ensuring that they gain the valuable practical skills. Conveniently located in Thika Makongeni, right off Garisa Highway, behind Leather Industries. Goshen Medical and Technical Training College is easily accessible. With affordable fees, you can pursue your dreams and achieve your goals with Goshen. So what are you waiting for? Call us today at 0750-264-044. Come and train with the best. Goshen Medical and Training College Thicker. Empowering future professionals. God bless you. Ladies. Get ready for the Debora Arise Ladies Conference 2023. Join us for four incredible days. Filled with the Lord's anointing, our esteemed guest ministers include Prophet John Saidimo, Reverend Phyllis Mothe, Reverend Phyllis Kiambudi, and Reverend Ruth Wamoyo. This life-changing conference will be hosted by Pastor Julia Karanja at the Kingdom Seekers Fellowship Thicker Road. The conference will take place from November 30th to December 3rd, 2023, from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. with a rally scheduled for Sunday, 3rd December at 2 p.m. The theme for this anointed gathering is, therefore anoint yourself, put on your best garment, and he will tell you what you should do. Ruth 3, verse 3 to 4. Get ready to experience the Lord's goodness at the Deborah Arise Ladies Conference 2023 at Kingdom Seekers Fellowship, Thicker Road, Kariboni. Rema Missionary Outreach International welcomes you to this year's annual prayer conference themed Church Awakening from Jonah 1 verse 6. It's happening from the 3rd to the 10th December 2023 at the Whispers Park Ground in Nyeri. Join us for a wonderful time of refreshing with our esteemed guest speaker, Bishop Lee Cavo. If they did not show me the way, I would not be a Christian today. Pastor Mark Daniels. You do have the Lord, so stand firm. Apostle David Juma. God likes to use failures that he can show forth his glory. The host, Apostle Andrew. The Lord is refining us until we look like him. And prophetess Winning Anga. When God calls you to wake up, it is always a season of restoration and come back. Sessions will begin on Sunday 3rd December at 2 p.m. And from Monday to Saturday morning, devotions start from 5 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. with sessions running from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. 
on Sunday the 10th of December. Join us for an interdenominational rally at 2 p.m. For more information, call us on 0726-022-558. MBCI Television.